That's pure gaping. <laughs> We're back. We are. <laughs> We're back again, guys. Um, this is episode 52, I think. Yeah, 52. Because uh, we haven't released it, have yeah. we? Yeah. Um, so that was 52, and the main focus of that today was, was Alex. Alex. Um, Alex Bigger. Um, Re Mama and our and main man KB was there. We had KB <laughs> on. Uh, he, he likes to be called KB. We That's found his out. new name now, yeah, isn't it? K- KB <laughs> and um, yeah, Re Dada. He'd be Re Dada. Yeah. We had a really good episode with them. Um, one of our longest um, in a while as well. Like it was very very interesting. It didn't it, it? really didn't. Seem didn't like didn't seem like it. No, not uh, at all. And and what what did we go through? We went through so much stuff. What are they not doing? They have a lot going on. <laughs> They have a lot going on from from uh, looking after Wayans till looking after adults till uh, looking after coaches, caffeine, <laughs> caffeine addicts, and coaches. Uh-huh. Um, they're doing a lot, and uh, it was great to see Alex's side of it as well. Massive interest in the re mama and um, her, her sort of partners on that as well. You've got you've got the the mummy physios there too. Yeah, I and, think it was- and just that different. There's a different service that this that this area hasn't got. That's, uh, that's a great idea. But and the, what I really liked was to to see them as like a sort of a couple. You could kind of get a sense of how they worked and why yeah. they can run so many of those businesses together. Yeah, you know, they yeah. seem to work. They're like yin yin and yang. They're yin very different. Yang, yeah, yeah. As people, keeps the dreamer. Keeps the dreamer. And and she, she makes Alex, it happen. Alex makes it happen. Like <laughs> for everybody, that's what happens. Like uh, and, and yeah, it's it was great. a really it's great to see. it was a really good episode and. And they just had a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about, which was great. Yeah, yeah. And they've 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 been through so much as well with Keith's military side of things and Alex with the, the job that just never really fulfilled things. And Aye. I think that was I think just that yin and yang just works so well for them and, and they're now a dream team and they've built that dream team in, in Re. And if and I think one of the big things was community again. You know Community, yeah. Big. We we love a bit of community ourselves. We do. And they have this community and they've and they've created that community within within this area, which is important. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was really nice to see as well as a couple. They like constantly seem to be pushing each other to, to do yeah bigger and better things. Yeah. Which really, really nice. Yeah. Really, really nice to see. It's lovely to and see. It was, uh, I was just they were just good crack. Like they're just two lovely Real people, people looking after real people probably was a big thing as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come to the flax. Come to the flax. Come to the flax. <laughs> we had a wee oh, we had a moment there, didn't we? We had a wee moment. We were kinda, I looked into your eyes. And you did, I, and I couldn't stop staring. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, um, but anyway, <laughs> come to the Flax, fantastic place. Unreal. We're in the good room at the moment. This is where we we film our podcasts. Um, we also there's events here. There's going to be events happening here all the time. Yeah, you can book it for your own events. You can. They have a Guinness cave out the back. Beautiful. You can. You can get an ashtray, smoky bacon crisps. You it's can. Fries, the like pints of Guinness are chef. We had one the night. Chef's kiss. We had one the night. It was class. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have one. I didn't have. You're one fasting. Either. I'm trying to out intermittent fasting. So. Uh, okay, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we had a really, really good time with these guys. Really, really en- enjoyed yeah. ourselves. Um, I'm absolutely wrecked, to be honest. Like, I'd say you are. I'm shattered. I the parenthood the shit I've been talking. Oh, parenthood's been draining. <laughs> Very draining. But I enjoyable. Oh, so honestly, it was fucking draining. Like, but you know, you ha- you take the you take the bad with the good, and you, and you enjoy it along the way. And I am enjoying enjoying ninety nine percent of it, and that one percent, it's not that bad. Yeah, you can do you know what I mean? It's not that bad at all. And sure, fuck it, fuck it. The the family's all doing well. They're all doing well. They're Great. all doing well. Good to hear. Getting better, getting bigger, getting stronger every day. Gotta love so it. you know yourself. You know yourself. Really hope you enjoy that episode. Yep. And uh, look out for for all those all those social media posts you'll see from them all over the place from all their different businesses and all their different oh ideas. God. This is going to be a very long list at the end of of the links. I <laughs> uh, just <laughs> lick, 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 lick. everything they're doing. But everybody, please enjoy that. Whether you're out walking the dog, you're in your commute to work, you're you know shouting at the husband, or you're you're doing the you're doing the vacuuming. Um, or if you're at work and you can be bothered doing work, stick this on, listen, watch, do whatever the yeah. fuck you want. We all appreciate everyone. We appreciate everybody watching this, and we're going to continue bringing really cool people from the area and further afield on 
to tell their story and promote as much as we can to make the community bigger, better, bigger, bigger, bigger podcast, yeah. bigger, the biggers. Anyway, cue the bore on. Let's go. Anyway, um, Keith, welcome back. Thank you. Alex, debut on the, on the podcast. Welcome. Yes, thank you very welcome. much for having me. No, no problem at all. This is very much focused around you tonight, oh, by the way. Brilliant. <laughs> Keith, <laughs> Keith is here. Keith's just as we talk. I'm just here head. for the Guinness. He's the <laughs> best Guinness in Mara Felt, by the way. I have heard. <laughs> you poured that, didn't you? I thought it looked a bit Have you been to the Guinness factory to check how to pour it? I haven't, been, I haven't been to the Guinness uh, factory, no. Just You'll waiting for it go. to get an Oscar or what? You get your wee face, you get your wee face and all. Well, on that the wasn't there when we done it. No. That's pretty neat. I don't like Guinness, I like Keith's love of You see, whenever you pour it, obviously Alex poured one, I poured one, and then all the. For nationals that would obviously be there, yes. they just want the picture, so they take the selfie. Yeah, set all the pints down. I no was like, way! I was like, "What am I?" No. I was like, "Alex, what am I going to do?" It's in my, it's in my moral background. I uh, you have to these. drink all those. <laughs> I had maybe four or five pints, and we were on you know, the double decker bus, tra- the tour bus, and I was sitting at the back, and I was like, "I need you to just get off." That's <laughs> <laughs> done. Yeah. Worst That's a dream, God. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really good. Term. Oh my God! It's the Guinness factory. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Take a picture, Shirley. Um, anyway, oh, that sounds you. really good. Was it? That was such a good. Pretty good. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Is that uh, the one you're going with for this podcast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, guys. What accent are we all going with? I'm going to go I with, can't uh, do. I'm just trying to be myself. <laughs> I'm that's, just, that's all we ever want. It's like, <laughs> it's all we ever want. Authentic. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Alex, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. And Keith, you're. It's good for you to yeah, be here too. Just along. Um, <laughs> have you ever listened to the podcast before, Alex? A couple of episodes of Keith's or, you know, some that have been on. Yep. You know, maybe our Catherine Lees or something is recommended. Oh, watch. good stuff. Shit, Back the Catherine Lees. Yes, right. I know. Yeah. Fantastic. Any standout apart from Keith's? Oh, yeah, I have a few. I'm not, well, I shouldn't say this, but I'm not a big lover of podcasts. I'm only mm-hmm. really starting to get into them. Yeah. Especially when we started ours. I don't maybe have a lot of time to put them on in the background. It's normally like Paw Patrol or Coco Melon or something. And then if yes. I'm out walking or something, I like just to hear, be outside. Mm. I don't, oh, like, just I don't like headphones in my Doesn't ears right now. Really no, I still have headphones with the leads, you know, that I've attached to them yeah. and they're in the bottom of my Walkman. bag and they're in a big, like, knot. So, yeah. like, they're not really for public viewing. Only for, <laughs> only for when she's screaming I'd be too embarrassed to show you, you know. In the back of the car when the wind's did, did you listen to Sammy's? A long time ago, but yes, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. His was, yeah, one, of the, was, really his was one of our That was the right week while ago, though. Well, that was, that a, good was, yeah, yeah, was a good while. Yeah, it was a good That was good crack. Um, Alex, we do a quick fire in this podcast. And nothing nothing to be scared of. <laughs> very, <laughs> very basic. He's um, I actually look back at Keith's episode, um, just, just in case, if there's any crossover. And we didn't, there's a lot of... Stuff back in the day we didn't do. I don't know when we introduced it, but we were we were bringing in all these different games and. Did we do um, qu- quick fire? We never found out what we'd have here. That cat or that sugar. We're going to find out. <laughs> right. We're going to find out later. Um, anyway, Alex, potato bread or soda bread? Soda bread. Pan loaf or sourdough? Pan loaf. Beans or mushrooms? Oh, I love mushrooms. We should have had a whiteboard each. I could have guessed these, you know. <laughs> we should oh, have we <laughs> done <laughs> this. Right, the next one, you answer first and then we'll see if it's right. Eggs or tomato? Eggs. Eggs. I actually do have a question. Keith, how does Alex take her eggs? In a cup. In a Boiled cup? Boiled up. Oh yes, yeah. that's brilliant. With we'll 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 a bit of butter. Oh, loads of butter. Of butter yeah, loads of butter. Loads of butter, salt. salt. Well, mm-hmm. Or she'll, if it's fried, she'll only take the yolk out of it. Yeah, I don't do like you, the white. Do you eat, just eat it, or do you put it in a bit of bread? No, I just eat it. And she, but she'll only put half. Like she'll not put all the white in. She'll take the top off the eggs, and that's. Weird. So I need more yellow than white. So I oh, make like yes. three eggs. I like so that. then the, the ratio is better. And yeah, if, ratio. If I have a fried egg, I only eat the yolk and I don't eat the white round outside. Really? But I eat it if it's mixed up in a cup. You really like Is that your how eggs? you get all your protein? Do you, you really like, like your eggs? eggs. <laughs> this is going to make me seem like such a weirdo. This, this was the first, uh, that, that question, I didn't expect that to be that detailed, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so next was scramble, John. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> um, Chinese or pizza? Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> uh, Indian or chippy? Chippy. Chuck Fav- Wagon in Cookstown is my favourite. Just shout out. What is it called? Is it Chuck good, Wagon. Eh? Chuck Wagon Cookstown. Cookstown. I had down they, towards just... McDonald's. Like is this the one? Did they do um, smash burgers? Did they do know. like a really nice burger? Probably. Possibly. I no, no, no. I know what you're thinking of Fergalis, the new like burger van in town. Yeah, someone told it's me about that. It's meant to be amazing. It's near Tesco's. We mm-hmm. have to try it. I okay. sent it to you one time. It's like nearly like a Five Guys burger. Yeah, or like tribal. Mm. Yeah, a bit like that. So yes, no, the we trailer. have to try that. Yep. Yum yum yum. Favorite pizza toppings. 
Do you like pizza? Yeah, uh, mushroom and bacon. <laughs> and extra cheese. I love mushroom. Wow. Yeah, and extra cheese. Tell them yeah, what like you I do with your, your pizza. You know an oven pizza? Yeah. And I, She'll I, take it out and put more cheese on it. Oh, I do that <laughs> really? too. Really? <laughs> when you hear this, I have a massive gripe with John a pizza, seems really a pizza <laughs> place in Marafelt, right? I'll tell you this. Name it. Um, I'm going to Sonny's Pizza <laughs> in Marafelt uh, on Rainy Street. Yeah. They do good pizza, right? But you know what really pissed me off? And I think they did it to annoy me. So for about I two... They were out to two, get John today. <laughs> imagine someone annoyed me. Like, over two, but two or three years over lockdown, I was ordering pizza from them. Uh-huh. And I used to order, like, quite regularly, to be honest. But I used to write in the wee notes, you know, you need, you know, a bit of salt, whatever. I used to write, very little cheese, please. <laughs> just fucking mozzarella right all over my foot. Oh. But their 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 pizzas are just cheese, cheese, cheese on a pizza. <laughs> Extra <laughs> cheese. <laughs> he wanted no no, no cheese. That and we're like, no, you yeah, know probably. what? Don't you tell me how to make pizza? <laughs> <But> the, <laughs> that would have been me. The, re- I read that, like. the reason I didn't want it because they t- they put too much on it, and then I goes, can you just a wee bit, wee bit cheese, wee bit cheese? Have you no. ever heard of a patchy pizza? Yes. yes. I mean, one time we there used were, to be one of my phone. We were all, it was, oh, there was. There was. We were ordering all these pizzas and stuff. From, uh, they weren't answering the phone. We were all down in Ballykindler and we went in and we were ordering it and we were like, saying, can you put one of them upside down in the box? Thinking this would be hilarious. And the guy called, and I swear to this day, his name is John Wayne. His name's John Wayne Harn. <laughs> Don't search him. That's his actual name. <laughs> we were like, put his pizza in upside down and he didn't. We gave it to him and all and he opened it and he was, he was so cross. I'd be rich. But what we didn't think of is, obviously this is going to stick to the box. Uh, <laughs> we ruined that man's pizza. Oh, <laughs> I felt so bad after. Just like, cardboard. I was like, that was so funny but now I'm going to have to give him my pizza. Empty, <laughs> empty stomach. Which, which is the following, or which of the following is correct? Red sauce, tomato sauce or tomato ketchup? Red sauce. And our daughter loves red sauce. That's her favourite thing in this whole world. Red red sauce. Like a spoon's it out. <laughs> Wait, is that bad? It's not He's red a sauce. Grape what do you call it, John? I have another grape. Tomato ketchup. Tell her your story. Tell so, the story. So, <laughs> this ice. Sorry, You've said this a couple of times in the I, podcast, I, I but have. I'm sorry. So, there's a filling station in Marafelt that I go into regularly enough, and I go in and, you know, I get a, a bit of potato bread, whatever, and then. I say, can I, can I get um, tomato sauce, please? And he goes, red sauce. And I go, no, tomato sauce. <laughs> and they go, red sauce. <laughs> no, it's tomato sauce. <laughs> and then, and then we, like, I just, yeah, grand, red sauce is fine. So, like, I have, like, a duel that happens the odd time in this place. And then you just give in. I give in. And I think red is a colour and tomato is a flavour. I, yeah, it I is, understand. It is the colour red. Do you know red. what I mean? That is true, though. That's the colour Am red. I wrong? Yeah, but it's, I'm such not gonna, a, it's such a tiny wee oh, thing. I know, I know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't uh, think, I don't I'm not think gonna you're fall busy out. enough at work. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to fall out. I say that, John. I'm not going to fall out. When you were in and uh, you're concerned about the red and tomato. No, but, it was just like... But red. then if I'm ordering ice cream, I would say strawberry sauce and not red sauce to that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. If that, you know, I don't know. I just think the woman likes to test Sorry, me. Sorry, John. <laughs> no, I just think she likes to test me. Uh, chicken or fish? Or chicken. Uh, Punjana or Tetley for a tea? Punjana. Fantastic. I love a good cup of tea. Good, 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 good. Do you have a wee biscuit or anything with it? No, I can t- I A wee Connie. A wee Connie. I love, at the minute I'm addicted to Connie, Swiss rolls out of Marxies, but no, I can take tea mm, they make wee by itself. Ones. I don't nice. need a biscuit. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't Swiss do that. roll. That's what it is. Um, CrossFit or High Rocks? I've never done CrossFit, but High Rocks. <laughs> it would be High Rocks anyway. CrossFit looks too sore and too fast for my liking. Where, where are you going? There this we way. go. Oh, there's the gang. We should pre approve photos, John, just before you put it on. <laughs> well, these were got from your Instagram, Alex, so, <laughs> so they've well, been okay. they're public. <laughs> they're up there, they're okay. Uh, no, I was actually just wondering about High Rocks because um, never heard of it before until the last don't do it, I don't advise few, it. few months. Aye, what what, what, it what is it? It's and what's the, what's the difference in CrossFit? Sorry. I hadn't heard about it for about like, so I know, like three months and then it's just blew up. On it's because of their ads. Anyway. High rocks, high rocks. Pretty what rocks, is it? So I came home maybe last May and I was like, here, Alex, if you, where do you see this? And I showed her this high rocks thing. I was like, I really want to do this. She's like, well, why don't you ask the ones from the gym to do it? And I was like, oh, nah, I doubt they'll all want to come to Dublin and run around for an hour and a half. Yeah. And we ended up, first time we went, we took maybe 50 people with us. Mm-hmm. And it, unbelievable. It's the atmosphere at it. So Tell like us the, the, event the difference of high rocks to me is like, Anybody could do high rocks. Like CrossFit for me is like super fit. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah. You, you know, it's a lot. Maybe certain things people I, wouldn't. I be able train to both. Do. So I train up in Johnny's. I do CrossFit at Yorks. Mm-hmm. But like high rocks is it's less 
Scale involves. So okay. it's just yeah. pure fitness. Like mm-hmm. you have an 8K run, so it's 8 kilometers. But every kilometer you stop and you either do like, you know, the ski ergs, you push a sled, certain weights depend on your discipline, mm-hmm. you mostly gender it works around. Mm-hmm. Um, sled pull, then you're onto the rower, and then it's like burpee broad jumps, it's mm-hmm. lunges, lunges, wall balls. A farmer's carry, like two carry. kettlebells in your hands. It's good. Is, is it like so you do all that and then up, you go up, back and you do, so you do, do one, do one do each time in between each K run. Oh, right, cool. So there's yeah. like no each rest. K or eight. So it, every, every 1K? 1K, you come back and you go to one of them. They're one called the rock boxes. Oh, right. uh, so, so it's like kind no of more rest, for like uh, the average Joe, in a sense. Well, that's no, Not I really, think. but... Absolutely, because... You do have to train for it, but of I course, think it's of more course, open yeah. to the wider... Yeah, pop, pop more just attainable. Back, we're just yes. back from Glasgow, and every time we were watching, like, a new wave set off, I kept looking at the shirt, and I was like, look at that, look at that person there. And, like, they are smashing this, and, like, they wouldn't get this anywhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's people from all capabilities. A, f- a friend of mine... shape, sizes, everything, like... A friend of mine, he was in the Irish Guards, he lost his leg in Afghan, um, mm-hmm. Ricky Banner, you call him, and he, so the High Rocks amputees, that's his name on Instagram, mm-hmm. go follow him, I promise you, he's inspirational. Mm-hmm. He went and done the men's pro, and he done it in like an hour and 22 minutes, which Beautiful. is unbelievable. A men's mm-hmm. pro is heavy, you're talking mm-hmm. 200 kilo on a sled, he's Jeez. got one leg, and his his message to everyone is like, here, I've got one leg and I'm still doing it, yeah. I'm like, fair play to you. Wow. Inspiration of a man. Sorry to hijack your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, that's a shout out. <laughs> shout out. That's unreal. I, 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 we're, do, we do, we're doing a simulation on, on the last Saturday of every month, and I recommend you two come and give it a I read. think Clayton's going to do it um, this year at some she stage. She would really enjoy it. She's going to do High Rocks this year at some stage. Mm-hmm. I don't know when this podcast is out, but they haven't released Dublin yet, but I, we're taking 100 people minimum to it. Lethal. And you two need when, to come and give it a go. When what about Jude? Jude will be there later. Three. <laughs> <laughs> come and give it a go. Jude's a part of this podcast too, you keep Jude. <laughs> Jude, come and give it a go. <laughs> Wait, so when is it in Dublin? Keith and Fergal. Yeah, they haven't released the date yet. They haven't released the date. They have to bring it back over here. And you can do it singly or you can do it in doubles or you can do it, there's bees relay, so you can do a group of four. So like it is a bit of crack. And it's know? the same same distance if you're doing The release. run's the same, but all the exercises are split up between the two of you. That's a same. bit of you, like. That would be a bit of you, you know, with the running. Why? Get you back into the running a bit. I've, yeah, I'm struggling at the moment. But I keep, keep, I'm keeping it entertaining for you. Five K's are a real struggle at the moment. Uh, but I'll keep, I'll keep it entertaining. You don't notice it so much when it's just like one K at a time, you know, which is good. So oh, so yeah. I yeah. there is like, yeah, split it up. Do you know what's funny about this? Like, the run's going to be the run's going to be the relaxed bit uh, for everyone. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah, when you know, that's when you get your back, you know. That's when you contemplate life. I know. <laughs> Thank God I get to run here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned the simulator. What way does that work? So, so once a month simulator, and is that an opportunity for a gym member to or non gym yep. member see what it's Anyone like? At all mm-hmm. So yep. it's mm-hmm. we we're using more like fitness tests, so you can like train. test yourself. Mm-hmm. Ah, because it's the same thing every month. So Are you doing it the same distance? Is everything exactly, exactly the same? same. When's the next one? Thirtieth. Thirtieth. Maybe. Hey, you maybe. Uh, I'll edit that. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> 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 I even <laughs> ran in like six months. But I. I <laughs> but it sounds fun. It sounds fun. It's only a 1K run. No, I know. But it's Jim Wardy and Drums. I don't like sending his name. <laughs> we have a location. It's up. It's <laughs> don't like sending. I don't like sending whose house it is. It's like towards isn't. John's house, and he might just run on our home and he might not come back. Up Westland? Yeah. No, well, like, you run up the hill. I up Westland. Don't go towards John's house, but that direction. Westland. Why did you just pick up? Why did you just pick uh, elevation? Uh, Westland and Marathon. Yeah. <laughs> <Because laughs> when, when, when you come to do the real thing, it's all flat. So if you can run up the hill, then when you come to flat, you'll be Train so hard for easy. Is you know? Dirty guys. <laughs> <laughs> but then it, it, it takes out things like there's things called rock zones. So whenever you come in, you do the one k run, then you have to run to your station, which could be another like 60, 70 meters. So mm-hmm. that that's where you cut it. your time out. Yeah, you know, right. You know, rather than titter to it, you know, but sometimes you need it's to such do an event. Have a, Sounds have fun. A breath. Sounds but fun. you see, when you actually go to the event, then <laughs> you see. It's not fun in the middle of when you're about you to fall it, out. It's unreal. How many people would be at the event? You know? 900,000. No, it's not. Jesus 900,000 took part in Glasgow. Just shy of a million people. No, is that right? 90,000. 90,000. 90,000. Dude, that was me working out how much they made 900,000. Yeah, <laughs> you sat in there like, <laughs> that was the business. How much did they made in this place? It's very popular. Shy of a million, I'd say they made. Very good, very good. Selling products. Alex, um, a hobby that nobody knows about. Oh, good question. Keeps, mm-hmm. keeps allowed to know about, obviously, but is there, oh, yeah, or not? I'm not really a hobby sort of girl. Is there anything that you like to do in your spare time that... I'm so boring. What's spare time? <laughs> I know. I I never, growing up, I was never like a extracurricular girl. Like mm. I never went to like ballet or dance or I just like to go and play 40-40 and 
wrapped door run outside. Mm-hmm. What did I do? Hooligan. I really don't feel no, no. I don't know. Like, I'm addicted to social media, probably. That'd be like a hobby. You're not that bad, to be fair. I used to be so bad, you know, back when social media was at its height. Mm. Uh-huh. All the bloggers are like, no, don't, don't come over for like an hour. I need to sit here just for an hour and watch everybody's stories, see what they've <laughs> done all day and catch up on all the gossip and everything, you know. Uh-huh. But no, I'm not really a hobby girl. She would be very driven, like work-wise, like in the evenings, she, you would be checking in on people and stuff and all. Yeah, and then she just yarn. Netflix and chill. Hobby. That's a hobby too. Like It is. It definitely is. Netflix. And big into Netflix. Yeah. Big TV girl. What's heavier, a house cat or a bag of sugar? Here we go. <laughs> There's no right answer to this. Well, well, it depends on the size of the cat. <laughs> no, you're talking. It depends on the size of the sugar, too. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anybody that knows Keith's episode, go back. <laughs> what exact is same what conversation. Was, like, there exact was no same conversation. <laughs> yeah, you can answer. I'll Does go it? with the house cat. You're right. It is. <laughs> Your mom, John just said that. that was a big cat. Yeah, we my mum used to have this cat and it was called Rufus and it just loved chicken. And it, it, it just, 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 chicken like, pro- just proper chicken and it was so big, blessed the wee, wee thing. And then then obviously because it got so heavy it sort of lost the power in his legs, but it was so fluffy and cuddly and had like a wee velvet nose, it was the loveliest thing, but a massive. Absolutely huge. Huge. I've never seen a cat as big in my life. Overly fit. I, my friend had a cat one time. <laughs> it was uh, so big that I could barely get up the stairs. Mm. And whenever it was no, like it was still healthy, like it was a fun and had a bit of crack. Like, but, <laughs> oh, like you, you were upstairs, say I was like sleeping over something. I could hear the cat at night, not its paws, but its belly hitting, like scraping on the hitting the every stairs, stair. Just, oh. just heavy breathing coming I was up. Like, <gasps> I was like, he's not coming up the stairs. Like, oh, it's just, just, just a cat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just be alarmed. Cat's belly. It's all right, John. That'll be us on the thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> Going up Westland. <laughs> Very good. F- favorite film of all time. Um, oh, good question. Probably Dirty Dancing or Pretty Woman. Ah, very good. Uh, yeah. Pretty Woman is lethal. Really good show. Uh, Dirty Dancing is great too. Um, Pretty Woman. Do you like Pretty Woman? Love those films. Or even love like love old love. this movie. Well, City of the Angels. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, that's an old school one. Is. is that the one where the Heard angel that. comes down and like starts to guide the main character during Yes, May something. Ryan and the angel was, what do you call the boy that was in Con Air the other day? Oh, uh, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Cage. So then she sort of falls she in love with him. She's only seen the other day. You know, the she's the sort of only one that can like see him and, and yeah. he sort of guides her, but then she falls in love with him and obviously he's not real. And yeah. But that's a good show. Do you like Hall- Hallmark films? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're like, <laughs> love a good Hallmark film. <laughs> so there's a wee secret there. She fucking loves it. I love Hallmark films. They have, it has like its own channel, you know, and you know when yeah. it comes to Christmas time and they, oh, oh. Love them. Weird. Love them. Like, just set me there. Like, I you don't even need big characters. Like, just love them. I, I There's something There's something about... It's like, shut up. There's something about, like, a switch off. It's like a switch I off. Know. You know... I get lost in movies and then... Like, the first 30 seconds, you're like, I know what's happening here, but I don't care. I know. And you they're know, also know predictable, the you know, I know. And you're like, I know the ending, but I don't care. And you feel so good after them. Yeah. Either, either you're mostly drained if it's, like, a really sad one. Yeah. Or you're, like, high in life because it was it's so lovely. It's usually, like, a career girl gets taken out of her <laughs> life yes. to go to... A, her, yeah, back to her or her home her hometown she meets this guy he's, and he's, he's really rude and all yes and she hits him gorgeous <laughs> no. maybe an ex and then at the very end she's like I gotta go back to my city job and he's like no don't go and then she stays love it there's a lot so. of Hallmark ones I love with Chad Michael Murray you know yeah. at a Montreal like he's his is yeah. very good and then it always seems to be the same actress I'm like how can they just have, keep and have you two yeah. do the same films you know but yeah. no, I love them. Because I people love. like you and him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. If this you need podcast. to give your brain, a, you know, a, just a rest for an hour or two, just watch them. They're I so thought, good. This is where you know. So I remember one time, this wasn't that long ago, I was like, here, the Lethal Weapon's on the night. Do you want to watch it? And she's like, the Lethal what? <laughs> I said, yeah. You've never seen the Lethal Weapon? I, I actually had to go with her mum. No, like I grew up watching like watch Grease and all those sort And of Hallmark stuff, films. Yeah. So I no, started. No, the Princess Taxi Man's on tonight. <laughs> yes. Part that's three. Part three. No, but that's how they get. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that's the, they, they start just going into the sequels and all. And it's, n- it's absolutely nuts. You're like, how I, are you just doing this? Funny, I was watching Roadhouse last night. Oh, the new one. No, the no, the old one. Oh, the old one. Very good. Yeah. It's it's the new one. Again. Not Do you like the old one? Oh, brilliant! I know the new one will be. It'll not compare to it at all. One of my all-time favorite films is Roadhouse. Oh, I love Patrick Swayze. Dalton, like Dalton's just amazing. going around fixing all the bars, like and just killing boys. Ah, uh, the f- the fight scenes are hilarious, and he's so just. Bad. And do you ever notice them eighties films? The the soundtrack amazing. Oh, mm-hmm. so good. And you just you don't have, make them like that anymore. No, they yeah. don't, and they need to. And and you just have him for some reason at like twelve o'clock in the day on the grass, just like with the top off, just going mm. like that. 
Just do strength training there at all. No, it's like Krav Maga. Yes, Krav Maga. There was a scene where he was like talking to your older fella, and he was like punching the bag. He wasn't punching the bag. He was punching like this stick thing. Uh, yes, and right. He started kicking it, but he was kicking it like this. <laughs> he was like he was barely kicking I it. And you're like, how do you allow this to be shins? Like, <laughs> kicking shins. <laughs> that would do nothing to anyone. Do you, do you ever see like the the videos just on social media of Steven Seagal? Oh yeah, 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 they're just, brilliant. Just fighting boys and stuff. Oh, like that. Aikido. Oh, sorry. Aikido. How are you? It's called. <laughs> it's called the keto. Ah, That's a new mic. Don't be doing this. But like, he doesn't even like barely touch him, and they flip over and they're ah, knocked out. And I'm like, he's just like that, and they do like two flips. Uh, yeah. Do you know he was found out to be a phony for that? There. No way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, no. Like, the martial art, not the film. No, <laughs> that martial art is uh, has some uh, legitimacy. Uh, apparently, uh, yeah, I'm supposed apparently, to. Apparently, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> uh, it's a bit more of a cult than anything. Because um, I just think WWE was real too. I loved WWE. Didn't we I all did. growing up? Though? I did. Yeah. It was still, it was still entertaining. I yeah, I know. Do you hear The Rock's coming back? No. I swear to God. How can they afford to bring him back? I don't know. Like. I don't know. It's madness. Um, favourite Disney film? Uh, Sleeping Beauty is my favourite. Oh, I thought you would have said Moana. I know. Well, going back like as a childhood, oh, yes. yeah. one Sleeping Beauty and Moana's very good yeah, now. Yeah, Moana's class. Uh, I yeah. think it's amazing. The soundtrack, that's class. I, I will watch about five of them films, you know, if they do make five of them, I probably will oh, watch them We're all. so excited now because Mabel's getting the stage where she wants to sit down yeah, and watch them, you know, so we're like, oh yes, oh, let's pick this one. Oh, Moana tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lethal <little> Weapon. <laughs> 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 no, but Sleeping Beauty and them when they made Maleficent and everything, like the real version yeah, of it yeah. and everything, so yeah, I really love it. What was, what was yours? What was Lion you King. What was yours too? Oh, oh, yeah, I know. They just hit, they're no, just no. more heartbreaking when you're older though because you didn't maybe realise the impact yeah. of the Lion yeah. King you know and yeah. then you watch it when you're older and you're crying like and you're it's like, all the backhand or the innuendos and stuff I love yeah. them when you're older yeah. what was yours? Um, Disney ways I would yeah. go with Moana Moana or right. old school I don't even know okay. oh, they're all good like Alana or Alana Aladdin Cinderella Aladdin. like Aladdin's Pinocchio yeah. like Fox and the Hound all those old ah, I love this good show mm -hmm. I would say modern day Moana but back in the day Hercules I loved Hercules oh, no, the soundtrack I don't like, know much about it what no I don't think have you seen Hercules <laughs> it's brilliant uh, thanks dude do you want to swap in for Fergal here? <laughs> I knew you were going to do that eventually. Right. I know you're. What happened? Do you not notice his table's getting closer? His table's getting closer every week. I swear to God, you're you're nearly out of here. I swear. Is that why he's teaching me how to set up all this? Yeah. 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 Fergal, oh, Fergal. Not fair, Fergal. Fergal is a cancellation tonight. <laughs> Next week it comes out. He sees me and him on social media. <laughs> anyway, uh, where are we at? Bag of sugar, cat. No. Um, <laughs> One thing, one thing you would change about Mara Felt. Good question. Um, well, because we were talking about pizza earlier, they bring the pizza shop back. I loved it. Oh yes, yes Matt Landers. Oh, yes. Yes. I heard about this place. You yeah. never went. No, I never went. Oh, you missed out. It was fantastic. But do you know the thing was, um, he used to just open whenever he wanted, like randomly. Heard this. Like you would just. Drive past and Jesus, he's open on a Tuesday at two. Like why? <laughs> and then it's like Saturday night, he's not open, or a Friday, he's uh, not open. He, he literally was a hobby pizza man. But people I, would just park up though, and because he was, open. I just hope that he was open. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then uh, everyone we, was devastated when he like, shut down. We would have been those people. There was a time, um, Clayna's sister actually went in for a pizza, um, and this was maybe Thursday or Friday night, and she sat in there and. Um, I th he, she must have been the last person, and she paid the money, and she sat down. He just turned off all the lights. <gasps> Just turned off all the lights. All he kept on was the pizza oven. Just you know, to make sure no one else came <laughs> in. Else came in. Yeah. She was sitting there for like twenty minutes. Like, why is he like? Oh my goodness! Locking the doors and Creepy. turn off all the lights. <laughs> the pizza was well worth it. I was going to say the pizza yeah, must well have been worth it. She sat on. Yeah. True. You should have just said, "Look, I'm a hobby pizza man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here to entertain you. Take your pizza and get out." Um, that would have been the mannerism of him too. Like, <clears throat> yeah, probably. Sorry, Matt, if you're watching. <laughs> I don't think he does. Uh, what does Marafelt need more of? <laughs> Coffee shop? Ah, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Next location. I was actually thinking the other day, hey, you should be stuck to open roundabout two unless there's a... Unless you go to another unless roundabout. Unless you go to another roundabout. Yeah, no. Then Castle Dawson. Ah, oh, exactly. Uh, but you could call it like R2 or something somewhere else. Don't R2. Daniel yeah. Kelly. <laughs> Take Daniel's name. Mm. Very good. Marafelt Mega Menu. Oh, Chris. here we go. Keith, you never did this. Nope. We'll get you to do it after. Oh, we love it. Is this about food? We uh, love a bit of food. Yeah, so Marafelt me Mega Menu is actually 
probably the most popular. Should they do it together? Popular segment we have. We'll, we'll do it one at a time. Okay. Okay. We'll go through it all. Um, they probably pretty similar. How dare you come up with an idea? Cut the cameras. <laughs> Sick of this shit. Anyway, Alex. You stop misbehaving. The uh, the mega menu okay. is uh, a starter, a main, and a dessert from around the Marafelt area, and okay. you get to pick. From any different, any eatery, any cafe, any restaurant you want, mm-hmm. and you go, I want the starter in there, or I want it to be a starter. I want a main, and then with the main, you can have sides. Okay. You can also, you know, pick a main from one place, sides from another place, sauce from another place. Same with the dessert. I want a chunk of this from here and a sauce from there, ice cream from there. Does it have to be here currently, or can it be past? It can be nostalgic. Can be yeah, we okay. do nostalgic. Oh, you're going to steal mine then. I know, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> we actually done this in real life. We'll do starters <laughs> okay. for both of you, right? So mm-hmm. you go first, Ox. We done this in real life one time. I go back to Sizzlers, and I would love their mushroom Rosenberg. So it was like bread and mushrooms and like garlic mayonnaise. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Nice. Or they did a lovely. They were called skinny. Skinny, skinny dips. dips So it was like potato wedges Like <laughs> no bacon and cheese And everything on top of like Popper, Do you get so peppered good. sauce a, Or mushroom as a, sauce As a starter the As a starter yes yeah, so Like it was yeah. pretty heavy starter But it was so good Like oh, I love a three so course meal I used to work the at the I've ever met But she eats mushrooms I just don't know how They got them in here In the first place Because I'd have been like Nah I'm a really yellow person food. What was I like? Beige oh, we call it beige, beige dinner. Yeah, beige, 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 beige dinner. Chicken nuggets. I am your beige, beige, beige dinner. dinner. Beige Love beige dinner. Beige dinner. Yeah. You, you Add beans for a bit of colour. No, red sauce, red sauce. Seeds. No, tomato sauce. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah, Sizzler's mushroom Rosenberg would be delicious or... Um, oh, it has to be a Mark Felt. No, then I can't say what I was going to say. What were you going to say? I was going to say somewhere... Neptune and Prawn used to do these chicken count. sliders, doesn't but count. doesn't count. Sorry, Alex. Yeah, I'm, cool. I'm going to cut okay. you off sorry, there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all about uh, Mac Felt here, right? What about you, Keith? District 45, the... What's it called? What's it the called? The salt, salt and chili, chili chicken. chicken. Oh, salt and chili chicken. Oh, D45. Uh, I've heard that a few times. That's so good. good. Uh, yeah, yeah. What about your main, Alex? The pizza we were just talking about, I would have loved it. Or... Mm, what else would be nice for a main? What would I like? I love even sliced beef and black bean sauce from Imperial Palace. Mm, good mm. shout. Rice and chips, maybe. Did you know it won the poll recently on our podcast about a month ago as the best Chinese? It was always lovely. I love to sit in. You know, it was always, well, any restaurant's nicer to sit in. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I used to love sitting in there. I'd go Notorious, build your own pizza. Mm. Oh, their pepper, oh, you build their your pepper own. chips uh-huh. are good. Chicken, bacon, barbecue sauce, and then obviously we're allowed to say, so they do a really nice pepper they do pepper chips around their, their pepper, pepper sauce chips lovely. are That'd be my main. Do you get a dip? Do you get a dip? Garlic dip. Garlic dip. Nah, I was going to say, if you said nothing else, <laughs> you're raging. Uh, Alex, you sometimes did... I just get red sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you didn't mention uh, any sides with your black, was it? Was it um, I love the Cantonese chicken balls from a Chinese. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or they're it just makes me hungry. I know. I love a good Chinese. Or I love... Well, them peppered fries from Notorious would be good, mm-hmm. I suppose, but mixed with the Chinese, not so much. No, but you can if you want. It's up to you. Or so if you want to do so, the runs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would. Be, I don't think any. I can't think of any other really good sides. Chips. <laughs> I know I said rice and chips, chips, but no, yeah. Grant. Um, or no, no, change mine. Chicken satay skewers. Oh, yes. oh, lovely. Where from? Um, yeah, Imperial, Imperial or bamboo maybe. Imperial mm. bamboo. Mm-hmm. Oh, bamboo does a good AC all chips black beans. They sauce. do, they do. Yeah, I think bamboo is very underrated. I was very. Oh, it's underrated. one of my favorites. I was disappointed with the the the, the poll. We had a guy. Uh, have you heard of Michael Holgate? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's actually just Hi, off Michael. the phone to me about <laughs> wanker like. <laughs> wanker. Anyway, uh, he messaged me about two months ago, and he's a gripe with one of the Chinese. As a matter of fact, like it's an ongoing battle. It's Tell like me. me after, it's like I me and know, it's like me and the hot food girl, right? <laughs> And uh, he got fucking done for prawn crackers one night. He was raging. What he do you mean he didn't get raging. them? No, he got them, but they charged him oh, like he had to, he had to pay for them. But now, he not was free. raging. Like he he got a certain amount of money on it, and then they charged him. And he was like, "What is going on here?" Right. And I think I don't know if he complained, but. Um, I think he, yeah, I think he had, 100% a, I think he had an axe to grind. Anyway, so he messages me. He goes, "Look, I don't have much of a following. Can you start? Can you do a wee poll for us?" <laughs> you remember I put up the poll, but that was for him, and put up the poll. And bamboo wasn't really up there at all. Imperial was one of the top ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, Imperial was a top one, sorry. Um, and there was a good two hundred people voted on it, surprisingly. So it was it was a bit of a Chinese war, like. Oh, um, I like bamboo. So there's a lot. We fell out with a lot of Chinese. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. imagine. Golden Gate, Gate did okay. Aye, uh, Golden Gate was Somewhere probably second. There, no, never been Golden Gate's nice. They do a nice mm-hmm. Singapore curry. They do. Lovely. Or the one Asian down- food. 
Ah, it's Chinese, like. I don't know. Or the one down it's in Castle Yalla, Road like, was always quite good. New one? Dynasty, was it? Down, New you know, it's not bad. Did you have it in the pool? What's that? Did it was, it I, oh, was yeah, it I literally had all they of them. They do nice noodles. Had them all, it? like, yeah, yeah. Um, but We're health and fitness professionals and you're talking about Chinese. <laughs> yeah, we don't eat this at all. This is just what we like to think about. This is what you think about. <laughs> we love green vegetables. Green veg. <laughs> um, and then desserts. Oh, yeah. I would go back to Maud's Cafe where Ben's is now. Mm-hmm. It was one of my mm-hmm. favourite places and I would have a chocolate brownie with honeycomb ice cream and white chocolate sauce on top. Mm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Same. Nice. Exact same. Exact same. Exact. Did you both work there or something or what? No, no. we were sh- we both used to work in extra, but yeah. just different extra. Oh, oh yeah. And you got five free rentals a week, so we got ten a week, so we like love movies. We heard this in the podcast. We <laughs> should have done a movie round. <laughs> we should have done a movie round. I forgot about that. I think I did a wee movie round with you. Absolutely. Sure. No, we love mods. Like we like planned our wedding in there mm-hmm. and did anywhere that we have has special memories like of yeah. getting knocked down or replaced. Yeah, like they're not here anymore. The high school's yeah. not there anymore. The yeah, Bentley's well, not there anymore. Yeah, so <laughs> Moz, Moz is not there anymore. Moz is a good spot. Like, it was a nice wee cafe. Like. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. Very good. Ben's yeah. is lethal, though. Yes. Aye, Ben's like is yeah. fast. Very good. Ben's is mm-hmm. fantastic. Got, Their decor is really nice. I like all the wee jazzy wee things. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you? <laughs> Fergal. Who did that? <laughs> um, break, was it break glass for the scoop? That yes. was yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I love that. It was great. <laughs> we come up with that. That would be me. <laughs> He's raging, look. <laughs> Why am I raging? Hey, do you want to stop? Part of the business too. Here, dude, get off me. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Like taking over my podcast. Um, anyway, Is we're on my podcast. He did. He did. He said it. For real, you're <laughs> definitely <laughs> right now. Like. You're part of the two, like. Thank you. So is Jud. <laughs> fuck me. It's getting ganged up on here. Um, <laughs> we're on to your origin story, Alex. Yes. Um, it says here, Alex's origins and bio. So first memory. First memory. Um, Have you ever done this before, by the way? No, so I'll, I, I'm not really good at thinking on the spots. So this is going to be so hard. And um, one thing I remember from being young is on a bicycle um, with stabilizer and everything at my aunt's house, like in Coke where we live. Um, just like she it was sort of like, it's not grass anymore, but there used to be like a path. It's car park now, but just cycling around there. I would have spent a lot of time there when I was young. Mm-hmm. But just, it had tassels, you know, on the handles and like a wee white basket, That's you know, where you'd think, put your wee dog or whatever, you know. So I just remember that, like cycling around happy as Larry. It was a good memory then. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very yeah. good. We noticed that it's either a very, very happy memory or a really, really shit memory. Highly, mm. highly traumatic. <laughs> highly traumatic. No, we'll I, go with the good memories. <laughs> there was a guy who put his hand in the toaster. That's right. That was his first memory. Well, Kieran Neeson, shout out to Kieran there. One time I did this, I don't know why I was doing this, but I was ironing money, like Monopoly money. We were playing when my brother was crumpled it up and I remember putting the iron on my hand. Obviously, I thought my hand was off the money and I went to iron it and I remember like holding the iron there for a wee minute because it probably took a wee minute for it to hurt. Yeah. And then I remember like I burnt like the middle part of my finger. So that's like that? I don't know why we were ironing it in the ah, first place. True, like, why, we must have scrumpled it up and wanted to play London. the game, you know. <laughs> Are you sure this was Monopoly money? <laughs> it was definitely Monopoly money. I was at my Our uncle's when I done it. Your family yeah, have no <laughs> prior prior well, convictions. No? I was with okay. my cousins, I remember. I was in my auntie and uncle's house and we did it. And I just remember having a big... Like, <laughs> auntie and uncle's that got done for all the... Stop it. <laughs> they own laundry mats and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> barbers. <laughs> cash, cash, cash. Card machines. Here, there's plenty of barbers in Marfell to tell you that. <laughs> Why is Mara felt a rich town? I don't know. <laughs> uh, have you any siblings? I have two brothers. I'm the oldest. Who who are they? Sorry. So one one is one's called Jack and one's called Sam. So Jack lives in, in Boston. He's married he married a girl from Boston, so he lives over there. Very good class. And my youngest brother Sam's currently finishing his PhD in Queens. Oh cool. What's his PhD in? Do you know? Uh he's gonna kill me, but it's something to do with crude oil. Oh cool. Right. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, know what to say about that. Sorry, I don't know he, anything about. Crudeau. So yeah, he's finishing his PhD, so it's very exciting. I'm sure it's very cool. Mm-hmm. Very very yeah. cool. But mm-hmm. you know what I think is mad about? PhD? I've had this conversation. So he's this is all a new field. He has to go in and research, and obviously no one's ever done it before. And then he hands in his papers, and somebody marks him. How do they know he's right or wrong? Uh, you know what I mean? True. Yeah, just sit and spoof. Yeah. The he's went and worked with Shell and everything, so that you know it's pretty cool. Nice. Like all. I saw it was pretty cool. To be he fair. got to go test drive like a load of Volvo. He worked for Volvo, didn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was over there test driving all the cars and Teslas and stuff. And I was like, wow. It's quite cool. It's it's cool. I always, whenever I think of crude oil, I think of like whales suffocating from oil and sea. <laughs> <laughs> not to ruin your PhD study, <laughs> but that's the only time I ever hear a crude oil. Uh, it spills, you know. <laughs> that's all. That's because it makes the news. Yeah, yeah nothing ever good in the news. No, that's it. I rarely watch the news. Uh, no need. I watch it when I'm in the dentist. 
<laughs> Down to 32. <laughs> Very good. Uh, primary school? I went to Coke Primary, um, which is funny because we lived in Markfeld at the time, so my mum had to drive us to Coke every day. And then we moved to Coke, and I went to Markfeld High School, so we had, she had to drive us back. She's not like Marfeld. <laughs> so like we lived in one place, went to somewhere different. <laughs> love driving. So it's so strange. Um, then I went. That meant that I went to high school, not really knowing anybody, because yeah. everyone that went to my primary school went to Cookstown High. Right. So I was like a wee loner, and like fresh, got, fresh just start. Fresh start. Yes. Uh-huh. A good fresh start. Um. Yeah, I loved my high school, so I would. I'd go back to high school in a heartbeat. Really? Yep. Were you a- academic? Yes. I'm sorry. Can you let Alex sorry. answer? <laughs> She's going to be modest about it. I will. Yeah. Good tap in for me there. Really. Um, yeah, I well, I would always think that I have to be a studier. Like whereas my brothers, like well, one of them could read like, a title of a book and he could tell you what the book was about. Yeah, whereas yeah. I'd have to read it back and front up yeah. and down. But no, I have a master's degree, so I went oh, on cool. and studied, and it's in geography. Oh, fantastic! A bit random, but yeah, I always wanted to be a geography teacher. And oh. what 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 happened? I She's done a year's placement and thought, I don't like kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Was that it? Um, I did do my year's placement, but it was just very different to when we went to school. It's going yeah. to make us sound really old, but I just didn't think it was for me. And then I went back again and worked with a wee blind girl, that, like it's from the town, for a whole year too. And I thought maybe that's went down, wanted it more Special. helping people, yeah. more so than, you know, teaching a class or whatever. But no, that was my whole plan for a long time. But you never know, it might... Uh, education's easy carried as people tell yeah. me. Yeah, you're know. educating people now, like, yeah. to be fair to you. Well, that's what sort of, well, maybe we'll talk about later, but like training people is like teaching people, so it's like half yeah, what I'm doing, you know, so, yeah. yeah. For sure. Were you sporty at school? Not a bit of me. Nothing? You, I played a bit of netball. Markville High was popular for netball, mm. but sort of if if you weren't good at netball, you weren't, you know, maybe picked for the team or allowed out of classes as such, if that makes sense. Right. And I probably wasn't great. And I just hated running around and find the gym later in life. Mm. You know, so no, I hated cross country and sports day and I would have been hiding like in the tennis courts. We had big tennis courts out the back of our old school. I thought the people hiding in there only went over there for either it. smoke or curt. No. Smoke mm. didn't curt. <laughs> I was just smoke hiding, or hiding out of the way until the barbecue I, was ready. I don't so know. That's, know uh, you, that's actually the title of this episode, <laughs> Smoking and Curtain. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you know that, you were doing one of the two in the oh. tennis courts too. Oh. Keith's younger it's than me. Funny a day. Smoking. <laughs> Curtain. Never uh, <laughs> First job. My first job was in birthdays. It's a, use my, a card Shit. shop. I remember you from that, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the blue uniform. No way. Blue uniform with a collar. Actually? Yes, yeah, yeah. the collar. Like, you know, like old school, like primary school, like yeah, jumpers. Yeah, yeah. Was and that in the shopping centre? It was outside, you know, where um, Mrs. Brown's is now. Yes. It used to be a big yeah. birthdays there. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, my auntie worked in it and my cousin. Thornton shop. Mad, <laughs> mad. And, because at the time... You know, you're not really meant to employ family. I suppose yeah. in case someone dies and you're all off or whatever, such a big hassle. But we all had different last names, so that was okay. So, you know, they nothing to do with that. Probably to do with like, no, you know, she could have been like giving Is you. Is that a thing? That's discriminate, to be honest with you. Like, well, I think that's well, I, I used to think that was the thing. Um, but no, I loved that job, and there was the, all the employees were so great. And a couple of the girls went to uni. I was still in high school, so they were coming home on a Friday, telling me all the crack they had all week, and I thought this was great. You know, yeah, like oh, I can't wait to get to uni. <laughs> What they did, all the badness they'd done all week, and I couldn't wait to, to go and do it, you know. But no, I loved it. I love cards to this day. Like, if you get me a good card, yeah. you're, you're in, in the good books, you now know. we've got Funky Pigeon and all over that. Funky Pigeon. <laughs> funky Pigeon. I was devastated when I shut down, so I moved to Other Cookstown card birthdays. retailers are available. So. Yeah. And they're always, like, you always hear the Clintons. That was, like, the really posh card shop, yeah. you know. Yeah. It was, that's what it was like. Was it like rivals? Them stuck like, up carters. Yeah, it was. They, they, they were like rivals, and birthdays is like, you know, the nice, like, friendly one. Mm, okay. Yeah. And I love balloons. They always did balloons. Or they now you can't be card factory. It's so cheap. Uh, so cheap. And then they used to sell Thornton's chocolates in our birthdays, too. Uh, Tell me what you used to do. And we had a, like, display case. Sorry, did I touch the mic? And you used to, we used to, on a Friday night, was me and Mary Kate. I'll not say her last name because. She How listens. many Mary Kates is there? <laughs> we used to cut the the sweet in half or like drop it, you know, because then obviously you couldn't sell it if you oh, dropped it. Oh, damaged so goods. You had to try oh, it, you know. No. We'd split it in half and then try or, or if you're you one. You have to have some perks of the job. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have to get my kicks on my. You say birthdays are shut down? Yes, uh huh. Probably best. <laughs> uh, best. I probably had all, all their, the staff eating their stuff. Do you have a star from it? Uh, yes. Um, the card fly up and cut you up? No, uh, there was a fire. Paper cut. A fire in it one day. A fire. I know in a card shop. And um, <laughs> so it was, worst place for a fire. It was out the, the fire. chocolate was fucked. It was out the front, like up in the, like an electrical fire, excuse me, like an event or whatever. But I ran out the back to tell them, like, there's a fire, my goodness. And then 
was running through the door to go back out the front to the main card shop but the door was a, a fire door and I was pulling it towards me and I didn't move out of the way quick enough and then it hit me right in the corner of my eyebrow so like we're outside the firemen were trying to put out the fire and there was me crying blood pouring out of my Jesus. eyebrow I needed to go get stitches and all and so yeah I have like a scar on my eyebrow we got that over it's well, it's well gone yeah. that is one of the most <laughs> random injuries I've ever heard and of like, like right into my face it's like as if they didn't have enough to deal with and here was me like you know half knocked out Jesus <laughs> Um, first job and then did you move on to uni from there or what happened I've had a good few jobs mm-hmm. um, yeah well a few jobs and then I would have started uni I've, I worked in birthdays and then I went to extra vision and then love your life yeah loved extra vision is that where it. you met Keith oh. no we met in the Bentley uh, a nightclub oh, in the clock room nice. again it's not there now the nightclub in the clock room yeah. Yeah. everywhere you spot. guys touch just burns down like so the sounds of it literally, literally. <laughs> they say about this place <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't even meant to go out tonight, which was so strange. Um, but no, we were both worked in extra vision, and then I went to work for Benefit Makeup, and then that's when I started going to uni and stuff. So I would just work there on the weekends. Oh, very good. Were so you part time in birthday and, and all that? Yeah, like, when I was at school, like I was school. still like 15, 16, so like evenings and weekends. You know all the like the hours that nobody wants. Yeah, yeah. You know, all those the hours. Best hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, what uni did you go to? I went to Coleraine um, to do my undergraduate, and I went to Queens to do my masters. So well, she got a bit of both. Yep, yeah, wanted to yeah do both. Y- uni life? No, I was actually talking about this. I had a one to one today, and and we were talking about uni, and I I never did the uni life properly. I never lived down or never you traveled even to Korea. Yeah, I did. I know, and it is a wee bit of a regret that if anyone asked me now, I would tell them go and at least live for a year. Yeah, you know, and just experience it. You might hate it. You might love it. Yeah. You know, just see. But no, I didn't. I traveled down every day. Very much a homebird, though. Very much so. Um. But still, like, I met friends and maybe went out the odd night or whatever at Kelly's and that sort of thing. But I just didn't have the, like, live-in uni life. But sure, I'm, like, I'm fine. I can I don't know any different, so. Yeah. You didn't you know too much. I actually always, cons- like, I have a regret not going to Korean. Yeah, Because you, just about you, to we, say were, that. we were chatting about that. Like, we both were Belfast-based and uh, we seen all the ones in Korean. Like, oh, I've got a Korean, fuck, I've got a well, Korean. Well, see, there was like, always so many, like, people used to think if you went then, to Korean, you weren't, like, as... Smart. As clever as one's in Belfast. Well, it, it was the location, like Korean, but then I it's right beside the port, and I don't think anybody. It was lo- so lovely to go there. Belfast yeah. was so hyped up. And um, their houses were unbelievable, apparently. And uh, they had front doors and everything. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They were just really clean. Like, I don't know what the Belfast ones were like. Yeah, we did. Uh, did I, no, no, no mold anywhere. We did anyway. <laughs> my, bedroom, my bedroom in Palestine Street uh, on second year. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a f- my the doors were so terrible that I had a, f- a friend of mine ran through the door one night drunk, just like just straight through, <laughs> like, super, like Superman. But you know what happened? Um, I went to replace it. Went to the door store, and my measurements were terrible. So <laughs> I went, we went, and got a door, put it into the car, but it didn't fit. So, um, so I was sitting there with a door with a massive gash, big hole in it, and then it was just a door, just at night, just like like sort of just. <laughs> Up, up, up against the door so I I was sitting there I, at night time like and there was guys coming in drunk or whatever and they were like looking in the door yeah baby and I, there was just a wee hole they could just look in at me and just annoy me while I was trying to sleep cool uh, I actually crazy. I seen a video yesterday and it was uh, a girl walked in as, as explaining how the Holy Lands is a girl walked into somebody's house and she's like hey mate your uh, front door's open and he was like that's not my front door love <laughs> I was like that sums it up <laughs> he's not even in the right house <laughs> I had a resort story actually it was the first week of uni it was a fella um, I was friendly enough with his, his house his house went on fire and he um, whenever I went over to see you know what was going on the fire brigade was there he was out the front whatever it was went on fire there was a wee bit left and he was just sitting on the curb drunk just eating it while the fire brigade was in <laughs> fixing got go in trying to, 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 to douse the flames see to me there was none of that in Coleraine you know everyone was maybe a lot more sensible in Coleraine uh, one of our, I went one to of coffee our, shops and everything, not all those crazy bars. <laughs> one of our friends had a cheese wall. A cheese yeah, wall? Uh, cheese wall? Uh, they would uh, come in after a night out. A and cheese wall? Like the, the, the house got, I think it got knocked down after the year. It was that bad in state. Oh my goodness. But like every night they'd come in after a night out and get like, you know, the big three square things of cheese and just pop <gasps> it through <gasps> it. Oh, all right. And then that would just stay there. For the full oh, year. Surely that would start to smell yeah, everything. Yeah. Oh. And, and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. What sort of friends do you have? I, I, 
Very successful friends. Ah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I know who that is. Every single one of them are fucking doing well. well. Do, you know, <laughs> do, you, do you know when you said you know when you said cheese wall? I thought it was you went in and there was like very posh and they had like a cheese <laughs> on the wall. And at night they used to like script cheese off. Maybe after like, a couple of years it might. You oh, know, no, 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 no. That's not nice. Cheese gets better with these. Like I, I like cheese. Yeah, is it not like no. wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> a wee chateau. <laughs> oh, very good. Where, where, when did you meet Keith and all this in, in oh, university? Yes, it was a great story. I don't you know. Your university story. wasn't. <laughs> was it? Yeah, still yeah. university. Yeah, twenty ten. You met in the Bentley. Bentley. Met in the Bentley. Where's the Bentley at? In the Glen. It's not there anymore. There's houses there now. So yes. if you go out to Glen Sheen and I like up the right. crossroads. Yes, yes. there. Uh-huh. And it used to be there. Was it? Was it collapsed or something? Was it? it? it knocked it down and put houses in. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like it was the sort of place you could go out on your own because you knew like your whole class was there. You know, you yeah, maybe class, you, no. you're like your 16 year old, like fifth right. year. But they like they bossed like, everyone there, didn't they? As they well? Like from ah, sometimes right. far away. Yes. But the reason the police we never didn't had normally had, like people from far away. The police never had raided it or never doing with it because it was just so perfect. Because it stopped drama. Everyone just went there and you can find them. All you're not clear. Like, like what? Really what are you really going to do? There's nowhere you could go or nothing you could physically do. But like, then there'd be buckets maybe collect in like the rain. Like it was it was old and run down, but it was oh, the it. best time of your life in there. You know, whenever all the I, all the alcohol was going stale and it was about to go off, uh, you say twenty pound in and you drunk, drunk you whatever you want, you know, or like and pound you, nights, everything was a pound or so safe. But you used to go in and be like, "Here, I'm designated driver," and you paid a fiver, and then you would get lick somebody else's stamp and stick it to yours. <laughs> all you could drink for a fiver. <laughs> like in the wee, but the only the only downside is then whenever like smoking areas came a thing like outside smoking areas, uh, so they made like a tunnel way, I suppose, from inside to outside. But then it, it got really stale, smoking everything, uh, you know. Rotten. So then if you weren't a smoker, like I'm not, so then it was rotten to walk through to get outside and everything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was only annoying thing. Oh, we met in the smoking <laughs> area because that's where obviously the party happens because oh, everyone right. goes outside, uh, but. Yeah, I was at uni at the time. I was working two part-time jobs, <laughs> love and life. Did you s- see each other straight after that, or was it was <laughs> it a... So that night, I was driving that night, fluffer. and I, as I said, I wasn't meant to be there, literally. I was not dressed to be going out partying. I was wearing flip-flops, and I, I was literally just meant to drop people off. And then he kept talking to me. I was like, stop talking to me. Like, leave me alone. Let's say what she said. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can <laughs> actually imagine that. Can I? Stay out of was, As two pints in, I was ready for talking to anyone. <laughs> I, I can imagine. I can imagine I'm, him being like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> the people I was with, so the Bentley had like a wee sidebar that maybe they would let certain people in after hours, you know, and you get set to like early hours of the morning I or whatever. I wasn't certain people. <laughs> so the people I was with, I, I was in there and then I got this message and it was like, I hope you had a good night, KB. And like the only person I'd, KB, you know, KB. Like Slick. I had obviously been like, like, who would it be, you know? So then KB. we started I'm calling texting. you KB from now on. <laughs> <laughs> we literally started t- texting that night and that was it till now, till we're sitting on the sofa. Yeah, we literally met like the next, I could drive, he couldn't drive at the time. <laughs> so you weren't, you were probably not impressed then by him, obviously, by saying. I was only a kid. Like, like cheeky, cheeky chappy. I yeah, probably young. Cheeky chappy. chappy. Keep me on my toes. Now. And then what made you decide to go out on another date and. <laughs> Did he have text in it? <laughs> <laughs> he must have been Back then you couldn't block anybody like, oh, right. <laughs> um, You had to top up your phone <laughs> <and everything. laughs> And he had friends that were sort of like my mutual friends So then like I would maybe be out cruising with like Remember like Chelsea and Rachel or whatever now Like oh we'll go pick him up Because then at least they knew him So they could talk to him But I was just like in the car Right You know back in the day If you were too nervous to talk to them or whatever, like, you know. Oh you wouldn't come with me to upper lands to drop Chelsea off I was like not a ball You know because I don't know the way home around Are Deadly He's love it He's love it He's love it Young love 14 years ago 14 years ago Mad Nuts Very good Very good Year you were married What year was that? 2019 December just, just before that, before then, obviously, you you met uh, Keith. You were back and forth from military. Mm-hmm. hadn't Well, hadn't started there yet. He just came home one day. I was like, "Oh, I joined the army." <laughs> I'm like, surprise! Oh yeah, surprise! That's not how it happened. Oh, <laughs> Keith, it's not, well, it is, it sounds like that's how it happened. Look, like, <laughs> I ran up past you first. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, we just was, was she sleeping forth. when you? When you <laughs> no, but like, in fairness, though, I didn't get in straight away because I, I was asthmatic. And it was a whole rigmarole. And I'd be one of them people as soon as... I used to be, sorry. One of them people, as soon as I came to the first door, I'd have been like, oh, no, I'm not doing it anymore. And you, you kept going. Like, you ring your man, keep ringing him, keep talking to him. Yeah, I'm real persistent. And then I ended up on a freaking flight to Scotland. And they were like, okay, we'll take you. <laughs> yeah. Because I knew he wanted to get in, so we had a... He wasn't going to do the work to get, you know... Keep ringing everybody or whatever, so I had to keep. Ringing. Is that the way this works? She's like a push, always pushing you. <laughs> like the other day, I was like, 100%. "What time's the podcast at?" And he's like, "I don't know." And I was like, "Text John." He's like, "What do you, you mean you don't John? know?" 
I mean, what do you mean you don't know? I, I honestly am too. He's like, you text John. And I was like, fine, I will text John. That's how everything no, works. No, like, I, I, I come to Alex and I'm like, what do I need to be doing today? See, I need to know I'm a real organised like planner. I need to know everything well in advance. You mm-hmm. know, I'm not like this like fly by the skin of my pants kind of girl. I was like, I need to know what time it is so I can organise this and then organise this and then like and come you know back real everything bad, I need though. to know. People come to me and be like, oh, it's such a well organised event. That was so good. Or, you know, thanks for shorting that for me. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Alex was texting her. I was like, oh, is she? <laughs> Very good. I just like to know things. So what? All those events that Yin's run in the gym and everything. I, I, should we, They're all his it? ideas, but like I just help in the background. I'll be like, I want to do this. Can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> Can you order all this stuff on Amazon? That's, that's really nice to hear. Yin's you a like brain a great there. Team. Someone's got the brain, <laughs> Alex. Um, <laughs> it's all him. <laughs> so what, what? What was your period there, Alex? Between um, university, meeting Keith, um, Keith's military. How long were you in the military for? Eight or nine years mm-hmm. back and forth. What was your What was your period there? What What did you do during that period? Just working, and it was a strange. It was whenever he was away. Say, you never really knew how long he was away for, or like maybe he had a weekend home plan, but then it could get cancelled really last minute. So mm. you sort of grew not to depend on him coming home or being home for long. You know, so you sort of just did your, like nearly led like two separate lives. Mm. You know, I just had the things that I did, like see my friends, went to work, and then if he came home. My whatever I was doing just stopped because I wanted to spend all that time with him. Yeah. And then mm. as soon as he would leave again, then I picked up whatever I was doing. And like, uh, you know, the two different lives just running side by side, you know. What, what were you working at? I, when I finished my degree, I went to to be a tender writer. So say, say like a company was looking, I don't know, new microphones. Mm-hmm. Like I would put in a bid for that company and be like, we can like make these the best microphones that you've yeah. made. We use this material mm-hmm. and blah, blah, blah. So I went and did that with for a local company, engineering company in Cookstown. So like that was just my nine to five, Monday to Friday, and then I could see yeah. friends the weekend or Do whatever, you, enjoy you know. It? It was hard, got a lot of pressure. Yeah, because so then if pressure. you didn't get the contract I, or whatever, I, you know, I do them as well. I enjoy, I actually enjoy them. Like they are, there's a lot of pressure though as well. Like it's, you do, you feel like, like it's you, on you. You, you spend don't. weeks doing it and then you don't get it, mm-hmm. and you spend two days doing it and you do get it, and it's just like peaks and troughs and it, it is just a lot of hard I work. I think as it was a small company though, they were dependent on the yeah. yeah, I get it. No, if it was a bigger pressure. company and you didn't get it, well, that's okay. Like they're, they've got millions, but no more pressure. Well, you didn't mind mm-hmm. And then I moved to Randox out in Crumlin, and then it gets a big. You know, everybody knows Randox, so yeah, it yeah. wasn't as I suppose there was loads of tenders all different areas of Randox. If mm-hmm. that made sense, there was money coming in for loads of things. Yeah, but I just kept myself busy, and then maybe we'll go over to London to visit him or. Mm-hmm. You know, back and forward. Yeah, you liked it over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Very much a homebird. Was we, was, no we was ever thinking of living in London. We did for a bit. We well, actually, you I, a posting, I was offered a posting to Canada mm-hmm. to work out in the embassy, and oh. we were going to take. But then they were like, "You can either do that or go to Belfast." And I was like, "Let's just go home. Yeah. Probably go to Belfast." Uh, yeah, but that's, part of me still wishes we took two years. I know. Been Imagine out there. what it could have been like. And I you would love got to your go full accommodation home. and like your house and all, and your spouse and all would have come. Wow. Well, so Mightn't have been any re academy though. I know because my friend recently moved. Right. Her husband got a was offered a job to go and like be a. He works for Block. Block lines. He got offered to move away and take his family and Texas, isn't it? Yeah, they just moved there a couple of weeks ago, and yeah. I just oh, think yeah, if you had right. somewhere somewhere setting you up and you had that security, and you didn't need to find your house and all yourself, and you knew it was maybe for a year or two, and you could come home. I think there's something nice about that, and that I do is, say yeah. that yeah. sometimes. Like I'd love to maybe go. Yeah. Like I never travelled or. I don't know, it's definitely in our heads a wee bit, you know, and we could maybe run a gym online, maybe. <laughs> yeah. See us. <laughs> Move to the Bahamas. See us. You know. He's a good team there anyway, like, you know, if Great he's ever team. due to that. Mm-hmm. No, very good. And then Keith, we we do, Keith's home, and uh, what was next for you? Well, Keith I came home during lockdown. Yeah, was that from, I can't remember, was that was because of lockdown, or mm. did you get discharged? Uh, no, I got posted here, and then when I left, though, I think oh, that yeah. was Oh, yeah, okay. I left right in the middle of lockdown. My wedding present was on the sixth of January. I came home and I was like, "I've handed you have to give a year's notice." I was like, mm. "I've given my notice." Didn't believe me at the start. Honestly, mm-hmm. didn't believe me. And then it took a couple of months for you know to go through the system and stuff. Mm. I brought home the letter, the discharge letter, and she was like, "Whoa, what are you, <laughs> what are you going to do? This is, <laughs> this is real. <laughs> I'm not keeping your Lizzie. App. <laughs> <laughs> Extra vision has closed down." <laughs> No more films. What, what will you do, Keith? <laughs> and then lockdown hit, hit, and I was worked in a essential workplace, so I didn't have any time off. And then here was he started then getting up out of bed to take me to work. So the first week of lockdown, you know when you thought it was only going to be a week. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. slept. I was like, this is this is <laughs> really. Yeah, like, yeah. But then after that, I was like, I need to be doing something. So I started mm-hmm. just driving you to work, and then going. 
I oh, I had the uh, you know the dust station. Mm-hmm. Like that week corner. Uh, I started going into the in the the old well the old side of the gym and mm-hmm. I had spent all day in there, mm-hmm. just thinking how can I make this work, crying to myself. But you'd started <laughs> the online stuff at that stage, didn't you? That's that's how it that's how it also uh, thankfully remember, like your first few clients we were maybe giving out like a welcome pack you know like join the gym this is what you get free or whatever and we used to drive around the town and giving it out uh, you know leaving at the front door knocking because it was like COVID and they couldn't come out or whatever you know yeah so people thought we were mad because it was like sixty five pound to join our online but they were getting like a hundred pounds worth of stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. like here you go <laughs> but <laughs> please don't leave they're still all there so it, it worked a uh, majority of them stayed yeah very good what was your sort of thoughts on on Keith doing that <laughs> you're Keith. nuts. Every idea he comes home, I'm like, oh, here we go again. Uh, he's just, he's, he's so creative. Like, I'm the least creative person ever. And he just comes up with all these I'll come in with a cup of tea first. And then she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Swiss roll? <laughs> oh, and the Connie. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew any, anything he's, like, did at all, like, it might sound crazy at the start, but it all works out, you know, mm. when he is very much just dive in and figure out later, whereas I'm having the heart attack in the background. So, like, that's why we both work so well, because he's just it, yeah. taking it so in his stride and then, like, me, like, worrying about everything. I used know? to post events on Instagram, and then and Alex would bring find me them in, out, you know. what's this? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't okay. worry about it. You know. <laughs> You've two weeks to get that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and that stresses me out, but... No, I just knew, like, he had a good plan, and, well, we just had to figure it out. But when he decided to open the gym... There was no going back, so we had to make it work, you know. Yeah, I but like I, honestly, like, whenever I decided to become a personal trainer, I remember people laughing at me, and I was like, "But I really want to do this. Like, I really have so much to give here." And like, I got the piss taken out of me by it's all the way. It's not thought off like it, it is now compared to whenever you started. Yeah, in 2017 you know? and like 2017, 2018. But even back then, I couldn't imagine laughing at or or you know thinking. No, that was silly a thing but to do. People were like, "You're going to leave a, a steady income to go and count reps." Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. But not, nah, even because I wouldn't have even been a gym person. I'd have, I could have run all day, or I could have like tabbed and all that sort of stuff. But like and the gym, I class, hated you know, going to the gym. The I despised it. But then I was like, maybe this is because I'm doing it wrong. And then I went to another gym, met a personal trainer, and he was he had the life of it. And he, I was like, he's such a happy guy, Johnny. Yeah. And I was like, he's such a good guy. And I was like. How did you get into this? And he told me, and I was like, "Right, I'll give it a go." And took it up as a hobby, and now we we're here, <laughs> making everybody else be a PT along the way. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, very good. Um, and then, what was the? When did you sort of like write online's doing well? Um, Alex, when did you jump into the business as a trainer? So I, I'm trying to think of my years here. So we got married. Mabel was born twenty one, so it must have been twenty twenty twenty. So the end of 2020, I was only like a few weeks pregnant and the job I was in, I was very lucky that I was covering a maternity leave, but the girl that I was covering kept coming back pregnant, coming back pregnant. So I'd been there maybe like three or four years now and Good it was way great. To work a system, boys. I kept mm-hmm. getting like, you know, I stay in there and I loved my job there. And, but I knew now that I was having a baby, that would be me done, you know, yeah. because I, they were just keeping me basically just because if I went off, they didn't need me to come back. Mm-hmm. So I knew I needed to do something, but I wasn't at my panic station yet. But then Keith decided, oh, I'll make her roll her into her PT course and then she can come work in the gym. And like, we'll both be off the same days, work the same hours. You know, we can bring our baby in during the day. And you know, it's more proactive because it. you were going to have time off. And I was like, well, why don't you do this now? And you could use it in five years, 10 years. Mm. You know, so then instead of me getting to lay up and, rest while I was pregnant I went into my PT course um reluctantly. down reluctantly like kicking and screaming every I was like I don't want to go I'm so tired or whatever and um, but I went and I did it and I didn't believe myself at that time I was like I can't be a PT like no one's gonna listen to me how like, long how long does it take to do the course or what is it it was 16 involved? weeks so it was one evening a week and then every Sunday I went down to Belfast traveled down there it was like a nine to five and I drove her down every Sunday I'm just saying that's nice um, oh thanks Keith nice, Keith or <laughs> you're, so, you're a good guy <laughs> or sure came with me sure was doing his at the time so he came with me so it was good KB um, and then KB. I just didn't think people would listen to me like I wasn't really a big gym goer and at the time I thought like you need to have like six pack and big muscles and you know people are going to think she's silly whatever so but I did it anyway and then I had my daughter so then I didn't use it for a long time and then just when I was off I you know I needed to do something so then that's how I needed to go back to work and get into it so it was sort of like Keith pushing me on but now it was the best thing that sort of happened, room. you know. And the only downside is because we both work in the same job, if we want to go to events, if we both, like, we have to get babysitters or whatever, but if I had a different job, we wouldn't need to 
you know, there's a lot, some people don't realise the stresses, the two people working in the same place at the same mm. time. Right. You know, if that makes sense. Because if I need a cover, that's my cover. And uh, if we're both away, right. you know, or something, or the High Rocks morning that you are going to come to, like, we'll both need to be there, so someone needs to be at our house super early to look after our daughter. She's great. You um, know, so. Dropping, dropping that in, just. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that High Rocks morning you're going to come to. So there's pros and yeah, cons. Yeah, if you see someone look after the way and say, come on. Fuck me, you can look after the way You can look after the way She loves the gym, so you're probably end up coming. But <laughs> loves the gym. There's definitely something. a lot of pros and cons to it, you know. I uh, like. I would never look back. We went and did it and I might have complained and the whole time, but never so, look back. Sometimes we'd be lying. I shouldn't say this. We could be lying at Tell home. Tell Whisper in my ear first. Midday and I'm like, yeah, people, people are working. We're sitting watching Netflix. I know, but then we maybe be out early mornings no. or late nights. So people, exactly, you yeah. know. I, we've our like work done in the morning and evening. So we've, we still do need our shift. It's just split. You know, which again has its pros and cons. I would have its cons as well, mm-hmm. 100%. I hate split shifts. Hate yeah, them. it is. Because I go home and try and nap and then somebody's like, you gonna help me fold these clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that? Who would do that? <laughs> so when you're Ian's finished, if you do at night, when's the last class? It, it finished there. Uh, at eight o'clock. Eighteen minutes ago. Yeah, we used yeah. to go to nine though. So used then we dropped that class because nine seemed really late. By the time you go home, like after let's say half nine, the wind down, you know, uh, and then our first class is at five a.m. Not late anyway. Uh, I know. Don't like it. It's hard like to if, sleep after. Only three or four people coming to it, and I was like, look, honestly, if you can't make another class. There's nothing I can do here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a 5 a.m. class, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's Who's working at 5 a.m. bar us? Yeah. Yeah, no, like everyone's just rolling over for their second sleep at that time. 5 a.m. And like people be up buzzing. Oh, no, I've seen class, the photos. Like, yeah, it's... That's mental. one of our busiest class. Aye, mm-hmm. looks it. Sammy loves them. Sammy loves them. I think you're either a morning person or an evening. Like, I don't like training in the evening. I would rather I like train, train in the morning. In the evenings. Mm. I like morning. I like morning, mor- I like morning but like 6 o'clock. Like, that's... Like I train at seven this morning, and that's still early. I'm like, oh, I only wake up about half seven. Some people five is a bit mental. Who? What sort of person goes to? No, I'm not judging anybody. What sort of person goes to a five (laughs) a.m. class? Some people start work at seven, or they've got a lot of stuff to do. You know, and maybe travel. So it starts to work at seven. In my old job, we started (laughs) half seven. Like a desk job started half seven in my old job. Jesus, I know half seven to half four. Do you think if you have have your workout done and you're ready for the day, it really you know yourself when you change. You'd be buzzing then the rest of the day, you know, and then you don't have to worry. You're way to bed before the Simpsons are on the night before. For fuck's sake! No, we love a good family guy going to bed. You know, put it on. Yeah, Uh, (laughs) the birds still chirping. (laughs) I remember when I first started that five a.m. class, people thought my head was cut, and before we had it, with eighteen people in it, like religious, like three days a week. Nuts! I wanted to move on actually to your team as well. Um, There's another photo coming here. I have a few coming. Don't you worry. A few coming. Oh, look at that photo there. Of all <laughs> photos. We trained that morning. Just saying. Wait, are you, flex- are you flexing or something? Or what do you mean you trained that morning? Look at that hair, boys. It's the beard for me. Uh, like, tidied myself up then. I don't like you it. see when I got my hair cut and trimmed up my beard? No, people were like, you look so much better like that then. I was like, well, why didn't anyone tell me? I, <laughs> I like his hair long. I just don't like his beard. I, like I rather long, yeah. The long hair is hilarious. It's brilliant. But whenever he was young, you know, back in our, you know, heyday, he used to have a lot longer hair and Did used you? to have to be straighteners oh, now. Straightener. You'd actually suit a shaved head. Let's not find it. Oh my goodness. Well, well I thought you had a photo off it there. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I just really wanted you to go get your head shaved. No. Did he had to shave it to go time. to his other job, you know? You, I went into the barbers and I was like, can you shave my hair off? And they were like, no. I was like, oh, I'm being serious. Like, I need my head, head shaved. And they're like, no. Nah. So they had to, I had to do the first bit. And then they... Shaved really? Me. It is they like the movies taking, go and get everybody's hair They cut. thought I was taking... It sounds like the start of a film. Yeah. <laughs> a it's Hallmark Go to the army. No, you're not going to the army. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Hallmark fellow. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, uh, yeah. The guy who shaved his head twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually going to go through your team. Um, far left, that's Chris. Uh, Chris, yeah, that's my brother. Is that your brother? It's mm-hmm. your brother. Talk to us about Chris. What's his What's his role? Is he one of the newer... Very new, uh, yeah. Newer trainers? Um, mm-hmm. he, most recent one. He was he he had his job right. Mm-hmm. Like, no what was he doing he, before? He worked in Beam. Beam, uh, yes, Beam Vacuum, yeah. Shout great, Beam, great company. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Um, great people working it. But Arcasy would be he gets a two year itch. I call it. He's probably listening to this, but he gets a two year itch. Yeah, this isn't life. I know, but he probably. Oh, he will. He will. <laughs> but, but he gets like a two, he gets like a two year itch, and um, it was coming up that time. And honestly, he, he he would put his heart and soul into something. Yeah, like he, nothing's too much. Like I literally text him. Half an hour before this podcast, and I was like, "Can you come into work?" Because I forgot to get cover. Yeah, and he's like, "Yep, be there now." And he was straight over. So helpful. Um, and then I, I just went run past him. I was like, "Here, would you be interested in doing your PT course?" And we sorted him and sent him down to Belfast and stuff and all. And he's, "What was that?" 
No, it's the next one. <laughs> Is it? It's the next team member. Relax, uh, relax. Jeez. <laughs> he's got a shaved head for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, he, he's finding his feet right now. He's, he does a lot of one to ones for us and stuff, mm-hmm. and all, which is yeah. the best way to learn because you get talking to people, you build. And they're nearly harder, you know, because uh, specific maybe. It's one-on-ones. a conversation. It's yeah. like you know, yeah. it's one on one. You're with one person. That See is. See those one on ones. Uh, that's how I started, and they get so in depth, and you become a part mm-hmm. of their life, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Don't, they don't trust you, which is what he needs to learn. It's very much a family affair, isn't it? Mm. Or re academy. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a bit like birthdays, you know, so we can't all work there because some <laughs> bad might happen. And we're all, all the different names. <laughs> and bigger a, and the party. There's, there's and a there few biggers. Big Sam. Mister Sammy. Oh, himself. Uh, so, sorry, Sammy. I'll get you up now. John, we need to work S- on this. Slip of the finger. <laughs> there we go. The production. Like so, Sammy, tell us about Sammy. Sammy Loops. He's that been man. On, he's, he's some been boy. On the podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. Everybody, head back to that episode. The OG, the OG episode of Sammy, by the way. Anyway, I actually sent you. I sent that podcast to Owen Mallon, and they got him on the bed. Ah, that was very good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very I think good. that man has a story to tell. Yeah, because I always think people. I'm not, you were talking about influencers earlier and stuff, and like people on social media. That man has a story to tell, and no one, no one respects how much of a story he has to tell. I think no. we respected it, Keith. I know, but you did, but you've done us so well. We loved it. Do you know what I mean? It was lethal, and, and like you researched it and you went into it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. To get him to talk about it, mm. he nearly needs yeah. somebody to pull at mm-hmm. it. But like, yeah. if he would just tell his story, sit down, and just go over it a few times, I'm telling you. He's coming back. Absolutely. We've got him booked in to come it's again. Kinda, it's kind of scary with that man's cape, yeah. like. like he's, he's just He just got, he made the Ireland squad there for know, another yeah. backyard. Fuck off. Run. I, last man stand, or last, last man. What do they call him now? LOS, I, last one stand. Last one stand. Yeah. Last one stand, I can't yeah, I, annoy I, the, the woman. Yep. The thing is with him, when he gets, uh, when he gets an Something itch, like he head, needs I, to go and do it. Like, yeah. Like, doesn't matter what, if there's work or if there's anything, he needs to do it. Like, <laughs> What he was gets it up like? At like four o'clock in the morning, like two yeah, o'clock in the morning. And to do his runs, yeah. you know, to fit them in yeah. family time. Because you know? like yeah, they're because he's running so slow because he has to for mm-hmm. that race to take probably take like three or four hours to get uh, it done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like it's 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 great enough, commitment. Like, like you think he then he goes and gets the four boys up, gets them ready. Then he goes does a full day's work, and then he's yeah. in with us in the evenings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he's he never he never sits still. What was it like bringing him in? Um, at the start, he had a lot of like. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to work with my dad. Yeah. And I got him in over COVID and I was like, look, I just want somebody to train with. We were in and we were just training away and I was like, right, I actually could use your help a couple hours a week. You know, I'm killing myself here. Do you fancy coming and helping shoot? And he got in and then it just spiraled and he started to do like an online course and I was like, you'll never do this because he has to self do it, self learn. And it's like hard if no one's coming to check on your work or whatever. You don't really yeah. do it as well, you yeah. know. Yeah, he's very much like me, where somebody needs to be standing over you. Do mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we sent him down his course, and he came back, and he just came back a different human being. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he just knew more than what I knew about coaching. And I was like, happy days, like get stuck mm-hmm. in, and like he just hasn't stopped. He's started his own online. That's um, right. We, mm-hmm. we sat down and talked about it, and I was like, look, I'll be honest with you, you are perfect for like dads who have lost their way because you've yeah. lived that, mm-hmm. you've been through that. I was like. Why don't you do this? And he had his first guy through there, a yeah, guy he used to serve with. Seen that? Look yeah, great. doing really well. Unbelievable. Some of the photographs that I used to before and after. Well. I, know. I think like, it's better when you can relate to people though too and you know, their story is you know, going through the same struggles. It just makes yeah. you feel like you're not yeah. alone, you know. Like if you ever got that, you see next time he's in, get him to get his top off. He's, he's a dad to four boys and he is in great shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The reason and being is because he's committed. I'd get him to take his top off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was I don't care day, about the football was, podcast. It was one day he was, he was, he let's was, not do that. <laughs> we were just in the gym and he was changing his top. And he took it off and I was like, "Why did you get into shape? <laughs> Couldn't believe." It. He trains hard. I, he has. You see, if you're partnered off with him, you know you're in for it. Like, mm-hmm. but like, it's not. It's not just that. It's that because he can, he can do as well. Beat you in the gym and run. Like 200 miles if he yes, wanted to. Know. Like oh, Real all-rounder. But there's, then not many, there's not many. There's not many. We always, really we always said it's like, uh, instead of a brain, he got an extra lung. <laughs> 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 that, Sorry, Sammy, that, that was not very but nice. So, <laughs> but you see, the change in him in the last year, like he's, he's uh, audio books all the time, he's learning, he always yeah. wants to know more, and I'm like, this is the Sammy I wanted. You yeah. know what I mean? Whereas the army Sammy, he was just like, throw 100 kilo on your back and we'll... Yeah, let's go. Things. But you'd think that man was platoon sergeant of Pathfinders. Like he was, yeah, he was. Like a oh, it's nuts! Job, nuts. One of my favorite episodes. Was uh, Sammy. Yeah. Like it was, it was such good fun. He just listened to his stories all day. Like. Yeah, yeah. I think we actually we sat for about an hour after. 
and we heard more of it. Yeah, most of those podcasts. That happens all the time. We, mm. we have a podcast. I had stop and then the good stuff. We comes. hear the real stuff, or not even the real stuff, but we hear more in depth and a bit mm. more. And it's uh, absolutely fantastic. I, I, I grew up pretty much just being like in Sammy's shadow. I was like, I want to do what he's doing. Do do <laughs> yeah, let's go. That, there's my idol right there. Stu. <laughs> that man's mentored me since I. Rocked into Alex's house and I never realised it till They might not know that Stuart is my stepdad. Oh right, okay. I Did you know not know that? You know. I kind of knew don't. Kind of even knew, in the yeah, gym, yeah. you know, and then they see him maybe pop up in like our family away days and they're probably like, Why is he like following him? They're really close. <laughs> I think that man everywhere. <laughs> it really is a family affair. I love a, I love a conversation with Stu, like he's a great chap. Like oh, he's, so yeah. anytime I, I come into the gym, I, I literally like I'm come in stealing your camera or something uh, and he'd literally be chatting me for twenty minutes. Such a like, gentleman. I, oh class. Like, What's his background then? What's Where's he? Uh, you need to get him on the podcast out here. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. I've, I've already asked him. I think, oh, okay. he, I think he'll, do he will. he'll do it. He'll do it. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to having him on. If he's do high rocks, then he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Jesus. The odds in this. The odds in this here is mad. <laughs> I thought I was looking after your kids. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let him look after me. <laughs> I would not let him. Um, no, tell us a wee bit. Just tell us a wee bit about Stu. Like, uh, w- when did he come into the into the the academy? So, he, well, sorry, you tell him. You tell him. Well, he always had. He was a personal trainer, like he did that um, involved in his previous job. But then he did his course when I was doing my personal training course. So he came with me all those days down to Belfast, and oh, very good. he did it just to renew his skills. It was never he the did, plan, though. He didn't have to. He, he was doing it. Was it never the plan? That man put it into my head as like, why don't you get Alex to do the course with me, and then you know we can share this. So he's the instigator. Mm-hmm. Well, was it always the plan for Stu to join the academy, though? Well, we never. Not really. So he, he coached out of I the rainy. Like he, we went. He, he was in the rainy coaching. And then whenever we worked down in another gym, we brought him in. We brought him under the cover. I was like, this is just a man I know. But he coached me before to mm-hmm. go to the army and stuff. And we brought him in under the cover and he ended up just, if you've ever seen that man coaching, he's one of, if not the best coach I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. Not just saying that out of biasness. But um, and then whenever I went up to Ray Academy and I was opening it up, I... He knew I was going to. We had conversations every other day. And I was like, I need to go and do this. And he'd be like, then do it. What are you wasting time for? And he'd always talk to you about yeah. his life and about, you know, he's, he's 59 years old. He's got mm-hmm. so much wisdom. And mm-hmm. he's the fittest man I've ever met. Mm-hmm. But like, He just done high rocks too. And Did smashed he? it. Mm-hmm. Him and Henry. Unbelievable. But um, he was like, it took me a while. I think I was at about 50 members in the gym. And I was like, I really need help. Like I was like, this is getting bigger than me. He's like, not a problem. And he was up with me on that Monday. And that was it. He just took the brunt of the coaching. The 5 a.m. 5 a.m. <laughs> but like, I noticed really early on that if I was on the gym floor, I wasn't building re-academy. I was yeah. too busy coaching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all my energy went into it. And by the time I was finished for the day, I was you done. You couldn't, yeah, do yeah. that. Of course. I, mm-hmm. I had 100 messages to reply to. People who wanted to join. There's nothing I could have done. Yeah. So we actually had a conversation one day and Stuart was like, well, why don't I just take over the gym, the in-gym yeah. stuff? Yeah. I was like, would you actually? And all it, that makes so much awesome. sense. And like, you know. So he does all the workouts, does all the planning. All that sort of stuff. But like, people always like, how did Re Academy blow up so quick and guess who's successful? And I was like, I don't want to say it and I've never said it, but all three of us, like we lived with Stuart and Jackie for the first well, I lived with them forever. I, but, well, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> but I moved in when I came home. Yeah. So like every time we were just like having dinner, it was dinner, re academy, or you know, came home from work. We walk on the dog. What worked today? Or, what didn't work? Or so that's where it kind of grew from. Oh, that's yeah, just like and ideas I, bubbling. So he was there for the beginning of it. Oh, really? we, we were all like, like, we only oh, just moved out. Such and such has a, a, a sore a sore back or everything, so we're going to regress this. So as soon as we went in, this person we all knew this because mm-hmm. only it was us three. We would go in and be like, oh well, that person needs this changed, and they were like, well, how did you know that? Like, I because we we're just very personal. We pride ourselves on being personal. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we live, sleep, eat, breathe at Re Academy. I did, honestly, yeah. it is. It's all we, it's not all we talk about, but it's a good part of it's, it. Like, it's changed a bit now since we moved out, but when we all lived together, it was very much, you know, but just that's what we like that personal touch. We want to do the best for our members. So, mm. we, yeah, you know, yeah, we want to, it's, yeah, it's a, you it's know, people appreciate those yeah, wee things, or really. they remember you had a wedding last week, or your kid was sick, or you were in holiday, you know. People really like those personal Nothing touches. Nothing worse than being on holidays and you've told somebody you're on holidays and then you get a text message like, why haven't you been in the gym this week? Because I'm on holidays. But we would know that. That's mm. why we pride ourselves in our community, you know, because mm. we are, you know, we want to be involved with the people. It's not just come in, train mm. and leave, you know, as if, if we don't you, know you, you know. I showed you the WhatsApp group that we have with the coaches and that's in it. Like, oh, such and such's birthday this week. 
Make sure you get a picture with him with a chocolate bar. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I do like that touch. That's, yeah. that's I'm gonna say, I like the fact it's a good big... It's, it's a, a proper chocolate it's a bar. Fucking, and, <laughs> you know, them prices are going up and then chocolate bar is like... Yeah, I, I literally shop to shop because maybe the club card price are down in like price or as is a bit cheaper this week or something. You have to shop around. You have to you know? get a multi-pack of those. Can things? I say thank you for the wee present we got for Lear? Yes, you, just you, all those wee touches, you know. Do you know what I mean? They sent me a present for, for Lear whenever Lear was born, yeah. It popped over. I was really appreciated. Personalised. Really. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Goodness. The boss boss. The queen of, of Re Mama. Oh, I don't know. Talk that. to us about Re Mama. So Re Mama is a class where mummies can come whether their baby is six weeks old, 16 60 it doesn't you know a lot of people think that you just have to have a newborn baby so anyone that's listening your baby doesn't need just to be born it can be you know you're once a mummy always a mummy you know sort of thing mm -hmm. um and it's really just for a class to get people out of the house because whenever I had my daughter I didn't like to leave and I'm still not great at it but I don't like didn't like getting out of the house and sort of like, like I don't know hid in the house um so I wanted to make like a place where People could focus on just getting out, even though they didn't do the exercise, but they made the effort to get out of the house because, like, that is such a feat in itself, and you feel so much better for getting over that first hurdle. Yeah. Mm. So then they come to the class, they can see other mummies, and you know, other mummies in the class maybe didn't sleep all night, or the baby was up with like teething or vomiting, and it makes you feel like you're normal because there's yeah. so much stuff on social media at the Sh minute, like sharing war stories as well. Sharing war and just makes you feel like that's okay, you know, because on social media, everyone is like springing back to their before baby weight and house is clean as a whistle and I'm like that's not real life like yeah. and I'm only really starting to like don't be so hard on myself now I'm like that's lies like everything mm -hmm. they've got a tiny corner in the house where they're taking their video and everything else is like a tornado behind them you know do you feel that eats into it a lot though you know you mentioned there about the social media and I f I'm like I love social media for promoting business and stuff there but whenever I hear someone you know comparing themselves uh, to people on social media, mm -hmm. I find it to be a real poison, you know, mm -hmm. a poison in the mindset, a poison in how they should feel, how they should uh, react to their own situation. Yeah. Everybody's different, but also social media is also fake. And well, like, I love social media, and like I said earlier, like, I would have sat on it for hours and hours, like, what, makeup, watch and makeup tutorials, fashion tutorials sort of things, but depending on my mood on the day, I am very much a comparing yeah. person, you know. Yeah. Um, like, you know, maybe they're like skinnier or prettier or nice hair or whatever, you know, but then if I'm in a better frame of mind, I'm like, you know, they're probably just out of the hairdressers mm. or they've got yeah. a spray tan or, yeah. you know, whatever. Unfollow. You know, or yeah, like a lot of stuff I do unfollow now because like I maybe go on Instagram first thing in the morning and that's just going to piss me off for the rest yeah. of the day. Yeah, we're all guilty of it. You know, so you really have to try and, I suppose, filter what you do watch because yeah. I think it's, you know, some things not very fair. So that's yeah. why I like my class. No one... Like they're from all different backgrounds. No one's competing against each other. No one's comparing each other. They're just making you feel like you're worthwhile and that you're valid and your thoughts and all. You're not going crazy because, like, husbands or partners or dads or whatever are so good, but they haven't maybe physically did what the women have done. So it's so hard for them to 100% appreciate maybe yeah. what they're feeling or going through. It's a good dose of reality as well. It's kind of like they're they're out in the 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 social world. They're out by themselves in their house, but when they come in to re re mama. It's like, oh, this is this is real life. You know, there's real people here. And yeah. I can actually talk to them. And it's so nice because even whenever I first had me about, like, I, I have had friends who have kids, but there was never really, like, into the nitty-gritty of stuff. Like, you just had a baby with a scrape, but they never talked about what their birth was. Or, I've heard out all these. You know, I've what, seen a whole new side what things happened after birth or, like, maybe they're peeing themselves a wee bit now or whatever. Like, no one ever mentioned that because it's mm. all a bit, like, secretive taboo. Like, don't talk. Like, I'm yeah. fine. Like, you know, but now... I, I sort of try and make light of it in the class like there's certain things that I can't do that maybe some girls can do you know just because I've had a baby or we've had different like situations or whatever but we just try to make everyone feel inclusive and that it's normal and people are probably have these issues they're just scared at the minute to say because mm -hmm. it is people make you feel embarrassed mm -hmm. or whatever you know and that's not nice to feel like you know but they are very open like Keith hears everything like they you know, we learn a lot, like from the classes. Like, there's no, no secrets, no whole bars. You know, in the things. Which is lovely. That's Which is so good. It's, it's a safe place yeah. for them to tell. You it's know, the way it should be. It and like, be. we laugh and like sometimes cry, and we have a cup of tea and a bun on a Thursday, and like it's as I said, it's not about the exercise. It's just about getting out that door and. Mm -hmm. Aye, honestly. 
you know and seeing like some mummies come and they're they're maybe nervous to come because they're like oh what if my baby cries the whole class and I'm like that's okay as like babies cry Keith will like yeah. Keith will sort yeah, that yeah like 100%. we push the prams we, you think we give like them their bottle like, <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we literally can't do is oh, I'll get them out I'll no I know, you take them for a walk or you know just have my war story or something <laughs> <laughs> you know so. he's like you took a spot what do you do this <laughs> so no it's so though. nice it, it started as a way for me to get out and to get feel inclusive and I met some of my best friends from them joining my class and then even I've had a couple of mums that have went to have their second child and then came back so that's such a real like booster Mm. because I'd be very much a people pleaser and then if I didn't think people were enjoying it or they didn't say they left like they're maybe going back to work so that was not my fault but I would maybe like take that personally and then maybe be disheartened so then knowing that people were coming back I'd be like oh I must have did a good job or because in my old job I was like I worked in HR so I was ahead of like organizing events and you know making sure like everyone was paid and everything was here there and everywhere Sh- it should have been though. human resources though. you know yes yeah, that literally. Side of it. so that's why everything re academy i'm like this needs done this blah 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 so i need that i suppose like gratitude and everything back from people so mm. when people come back or whatever it makes me feel really good because it's wasn't something i had planned to do it wasn't in like if you had told me i was gonna be a personal trainer i would have laughed you out the door like like don't be silly See, i don't even like the gym um but so it's just nice to feel like I'm wanted you know because sometimes even I feel like an imposter I'm like no I get embarrassed taking the classes I'm like they're not gonna listen to me like who's she or whatever but compared to like Keith or Stuart but we're all we all got the same education yeah and we're we'll just doing our best Smashing. Yeah. awesome well, yeah. <laughs> and then re mama where where did that start I know you kind of touched on it a wee bit but was it you were like Keith I think there needs to be a class for mums, whose idea was it? Was yours, yeah. Yeah, like I, I, the girl, the mummy physios, they have Pilates classes, and you could bring your kids with you, you know. But I suppose right, different yeah. people like different things. But oh, there they are. Yes, mm-hmm. Miranda Cat, they Two love them. Absolute legends, you know. They are like my like, yeah, like heroes, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of time for those two, two girls. Like They're girls. so mm-hmm. so so good. Learned a lot from them. Yeah, but things no, are brilliant too. Yeah, yeah, like going to their class and you could take your baby. So that was great. You didn't need to worry about childcare. But I didn't want to. Obviously, I'm not training Pilates first of all, but. I just wanted, you know, to make it accessible for people, you know, and we had sort of said there's nothing really like that round here. There's maybe like further afield, you know, now that we've sort of talked about ours, you know, then things like pop up on Instagram, maybe, you know, the way like phones listen to your conversations and mm-hmm. other things. That's but it. there's nothing really like it around here. And definitely not. Yeah. You know, that that puts people off going to the gym because they don't have childcare. And then maybe in the yeah. evenings they're shorting things for like husbands or partners or whatever. So we came to it and then it was the hardest part was trying to think of like a cool name for it. You know, it was like Rebaba or like Rebaba is cool. Rebaba is cool too. Yeah, so no, Rebaba's Re nice. Yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah we, you know, we wanted to be about the mummies. You know, like the babies are just like bring them or don't bring them. You get more work done if you don't bring them. But you know, that's the good op, you yeah, know, option that you option, can. You know, yeah. when I heard about it, I was like genius it's a great yeah. and it was, it's a hard class like you know you could have 16 kids kicking off like tuesday they all yeah, decided yeah. to cry at the same time you know and it can be like just like then loud you know and intense TikToks, you know what i mean uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like can you turn the music down or turn it up or something here. you know um, everybody you should do that when they're all you know? crying <laughs> take a video of them all crying like just say look it's normal guys but it's, it's so lovely like some mummies have been there for like i started that in middle must i must have started it in 22 mm-hmm maybe the end of 21 but some people started with me and are still there and their kids are now toddlers like mm, running around three you know and it's lovely just seeing them yeah. they've grew up together the babies they started in their prams and then it's they fast. went to their playpen oh, so you're getting to see all the kids yeah. so, and then they leave well. and i'd be devastated too Betty, she's like oh she's a gorgeous sweet yeah, child but she's been there since she was like 12 weeks old yeah i know and she's like you know she's coming to now at the end of the month and you they just must get very eventually brilliant. get quite familiar yeah. with the gym as uh, they really do they look like kids run around they, they just sit down with the repack lunches and they just watch the mummies <laughs> or they maybe lie and do their stretches like I'm, you know eloise was doing cycles uh, the other day cycling her legs if she, you know yeah. i'm really looking forward to lear going there he like hasn't come yet but yeah, he's, he's coming maybe soon next he's, week, he's getting yeah. his vaccination soon and then uh clean is clean is buzzing about i love them i'm just like just get your baby fix you know whenever you just want to take them and give them wee cuddles you know I, if you drive down between the class, you'll either see me walking up down the car park with the ones that really kick off because you want to. Do you have like out. ten, like a big bar? I with have a number. That's, a good idea. That's a really I good idea. One time I had Daddy a, kid, a kid in this hand. I was pushing a pram with this hand, and there was two car seats, and I was rocking them with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I was Multitasking. Like, there. I was like, "There's forty minutes this class." <laughs> <laughs> we core. That's a wee core workout there. Isn't it? But then sometimes you go in, and the kids don't even make a move. I know. You just yeah. don't notice. Just a just a kid. You know, it depends what mood they're into. 
And I think the mummies prefer when the kids are kicking off because I'll torture them mothers. Yeah, they? but then they'll be calm by the time they get them. Like, yeah. But sometimes the music and all puts... Sorry, the, the, the music sleep. puts them to sleep, yeah. Uh, you know, we even ACDC like the music. Sometimes I'm like, can you, can you turn that down? Like, baby's ears are really sensitive and then he turns it up louder, you know. Uh, but but them's the absolute legends, yeah. It's funny, I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why this reminds me of it, but it just popped in my head of uh, following Sammy and... Um, his kid, he always posts videos of his uh, kids and stuff I got there and they were playing with toy guns at the beach one day he yeah. started to comment on their gun like uh, their gun etiquette he had etiquette. Them on a proper section of that thing <laughs> gotta teach them young you know they gotta learn you never know where they might go he was like look at them but I, I don't know how they're holding that, that, that they were <laughs> proper bounding forward no, <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. I think it's hard to get proper soldiers <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna go I used to not do that that was very so funny, funny. Yeah. <laughs> just narrating uh, no very good Round about coffee. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's your baby. That's a whole. Oh, he's a video. I do have a video. Two wee seconds. Sorry, did I give it away? Uh, you kind of did Sorry. actually. For <laughs> 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 As one of another crazy of his ideas, he come home to tell me about. Oh, so this was your idea then? It's Keith's baby. Mm-hmm. I two friends came to me and were like, "Well, we do it." And I was like, "Aye, sure." I've got a fr- free couple of hours in the wedding stay. Give me <laughs> free couple of hours. <laughs> That's what people don't appreciate. Like being a personal trainer is not just like a nine to five. Like it is constant. You know, weekends, evenings, mornings. What video is this? The uh, no, maybe you the worry, Keith. Is this, well, a this promo? is maybe the one me and you and Mabel's in. No, nope. uh, is it no? a good one? Maybe it's not. I think this was the first ever one. Oh, is this the one just for the hand? Is you, is not you, a hand sensor anymore. That automatically opens. Now we've got to. Say. I was going to actually say that. I noticed that. It's such a lovely coffee shop, though. I'm maybe a bit biased, but look at that beard, please. <laughs> With that apron, where did they go? I don't know. <laughs> I love them. It cost a fortune. I know. Nothing I love more than watching myself on this. <laughs> so you're never off the internet. I know. Oh, I, I, I don't ever watch it. I'm back. sick of seeing you actually. I love Somebody this. actually said that to me. Like, sick of you. There he is again. I don't think I watched this. Friday, 12, Saturday, Abby are closed on Sunday. Why are you closing Sunday? The yard closes on a Sunday. Uh, I open on a Sunday. I know, but you can't get it into the yard. Nah, there's probably nobody wants to actually work on a Sunday, to be yeah. fair. Mm. But I, I'm sitting there on a Sunday and I'm like, oh, I'd love a wee coffee somewhere. Like, mm. See, I don't like coffee. Fidelic, I, I only like tea. Do you do tea? They yeah. do good tea. Mm-hmm. Where do you get your produce from? What's the bakes? Where's so the bakes go from Lawrence's. Lawrence's? Uh, it's right here in the cake shop right. at the top of Broad Street. Yes, uh-huh. I only seen this already. Dean Lawrence has been in there for about 50 years. Top notch stuff in there, actually. Mm-hmm. Lovely, lovely stuff. Do lovely, lovely pancakes and so on. Sammy Lawrence is a lovely chap. Very He's nice. We wanted to keep it as local as we could, you know. That was the one thing I said is I would like to keep it all local. I know we went to Coleraine for the coffee. F- but it's, the best, it's the best coffee about. Fidella. Well, they say it's good coffee, you know. Fidella. Uh, I just had it the well. other day. We were at Hagen. Uh, Lovely, nice I and fruity. It. Lovely. Fruity. They have story. different flavours of, you know, you can uh, get different kinds. They're, and they're, fam- they're family oriented. They're, they're, they get their coffee beans straight from Colombia, like straight from family uh, farms. So Rachel's married to, I can't mind... Frank, Frank. Yeah. and Frank's family is out there and they, yeah. it's all family oriented I'm glad you said that because no one's going to hear what he said yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said Dude, the best you want to swap in? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, very good so like, what, what was your interest in that? what was your I always wanted a coffee shop right always wanted and then obviously this cabin was there and like Ian's uh partnership in it and he owns the yard so we right. were like well why don't we put in and another the guy is Mark Chesney he works in Beam Mm-hmm. They both joined the gym. I've known them for a lifetime now, and Mark actually set up a WhatsApp group with us in it. And he was like, "He's fancy opening a coffee shop." Originally, I said no. It was like I've too much on, and, yeah. and my wife a, will kill me. Uh, he's a persistent sort of a chap. And I was like, you know what? Why don't? Because well, did this video go up, and then you go here, Alex? I've opened the coffee shop. <laughs> <shop." laughs> <laughs> <Don't laughs> you you open a coffee shop? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know now we? We don't really um, setting it up was probably the funnest part because we yeah. went we went to Donegal Inn all to look at like yeah. coffee machines and like, yeah, it was like just days out we were up at Fidel just together days, days and, like you know and as soon as we set it up we all just went back to our normal jobs and like we would meet up it. maybe once a month and be like well how's the coffee shop going and like it's taking over then uh, it's it's it taking over in your that's what it needs to do and like the two girls working it are lovely Marie and Lauren but like. I do miss the whole. I love setting stuff up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, love, I love building. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, that's done. Move on. That, that, that's almost what it's like. You see, yeah. it You're took me like two years to get the extension and uh, on the gym, and then whenever we got the keys, me and Sammy went in the next day and started coping walls. And your mum was like, 
you should probably wait till the professionals come in. Like, nah. As Sam, Sam <laughs> when he has an idea, he needs to do it like yesterday. <clears throat> yeah. You know. I had the the walls. No, I had the floor down before because the floor could come on the Tuesday, but the spray painter couldn't come to the Thursday, and I needed it to be the other way about. Mm -hmm. I was like, just get the floor down. Hey. You know, it's good, like cover the floor. So they I went around with like just big plastic wraps. I was like, this, this needs done, and he's done yesterday. Back to front. Aye. But like, I love. It's a lovely coffee shop though. It is. I like it. Is uh, I like we're it. not biased, but it is. What's the opener? I get free coffee as well. So. Nice. You get free coffee. <laughs> like, <laughs> how do you get free coffee? Like? <laughs> I know the owner. <laughs> Tuesday to Saturday I think the director's meeting is going to be actually, tough for you I but. actually make my own coffee again I love making because I went down to Fidel and they teach you them coffee well. machines are hard to work and like I they love making coffee people make I'd it look really win. easy I worked a couple of Mondays in it um, when the girls couldn't work and I the best days mm. best days crack that's <laughs> class didn't know how to work a till I was like just take away <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make much sense. <laughs> he hasn't, been, he hasn't <laughs> been back since they're like let's you, <laughs> hope your business partners don't watch this <laughs> like, do you make paninis and I was like nah Better We're not ever. really cooks, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What about the food? I put this up today. You're oh, on the ball, hey. <laughs> I'm some producer. The food's good too. Phil Soda's Fridays, Saturdays. Phil Soda Fridays are lethal. And mm -hmm. it's cheap as Phil Soda you'll get. And like the thickest, BT like 45. no rations, you know, like they're proper. And you sort of, you sort of healthy gym then. Aye. And but the way it works is Ian, <laughs> we Ian don't like greens. <laughs> we don't like greens. Ian um, runs the yard. He's um, Henry Brothers and Wendell and stuff. And obviously he wants to look after his staff. And mm -hmm. one of the things was like, there's no you go to Bob and Bert, you're paying a quid for a filled soda Aye. and it's not filled Extortion. with like one sausage like, in it and don't quote me I think it was like 450 and I it is full I don't mind Bob and Bert's like hard to finish 450 yeah. for a filled soda but, I know. Uh, filled to the brim check it out it's like a McDonald's Aye. I find I find Bob and Bert's is like McDonald's to be honest I just I don't like it it, it frustrates me when I go in I do, I do a wee bit of work on it the all day and I'm sitting there and there's a crying child over there going absolutely but crazy, and then there's like, and there's, that's okay. there's, there's, there's no, that's okay. But there's rave music on. There's uh, rave music on, and I can't hear myself think. Uh, Where was I at the other day? That was too noisy. I was in ground the other day, right? And I was like an old man. We were in ground, and the music was on the background. But it? obviously, they've just clicked Spotify on their phone and put their own music on. And uh, honestly, I don't mind people cursing and because I'm on this, but I'm joking. But like, there was re like hardcore like mm. Eminem online, and you know, it was yeah, full yeah. on. I was like, slit your throat. But they normally have, sort there's of not many kids upstairs. Do you know what yeah, I mean? like school, yeah, like it's like, very popular for school yeah, kids. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, but like even youngsters. I know there's a lot of coffee shops in the town, but there's certain things I like in each one that I would just like to make like one big coffee. Mega shop. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm gonna tell you it's because there was an episode. Uh, Peter McElaine, we had uh, McElaine's Bakery on, yes. um, and Peter was there, and one thing he, he mentioned about Mara Felt Mind, I asked you about one thing you would change, or mm -hmm. one thing you would add, he said a really, really good coffee shop in, mm -hmm. inside Mara Felt, and my thought was, and this is random, you remember it, about the books, <laughs> so I wanted to open, a, like if I was opening a coffee shop in the middle of Mara Felt, or mm -hmm. anywhere, I would want it to be like, like a dark spot for for um for Wi Fi or anything like that or even a phone, and I would want books on it. Like a, just yeah, like books. A library. Oh. Mm. Have you ever heard of the show Friends? Yes. <laughs> people, <laughs> but listen, people, I that. <laughs> people, you have yeah, Friends it used to be on TV. So people used to go to a coffee shop to have a conversation yes. and read a book, mm -hmm. and that wasn't weird. Like to go to somewhere and read a book, and there's books everywhere. Oh, and that it was, sounds lovely. Do you know, like like a detox? Mm -hmm. I'm going. That's it. I'm opening a coffee shop. I'm going to rival against Roundabout, no, no. <laughs> but it literally would be just books, and it would literally be so nice. just a switch off, like we a talk, switch we off. We talked about moving Roundabout down. Well, obviously you have to change the name and everything down Rainy Street. Um, Rainy Street. That's what it'd be called. Aye. But but I. This was just like if we could have a dream coffee shop. Yeah. Open late in the evenings. Okay, yeah. Come and meet up. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. overload, like overload was really good for that. Yeah, but like Love imagine somebody waffles. just in the corner, just strumming a guitar and just yeah, just gentle music. But like, yeah, like, like a bar. Like, like, would, you yeah. would you put books on it? Would you put books on it? Well, you could bring your own book. Oh, we'll put books on it. BYOB. Bring your own book. <laughs> bring your own book. <laughs> <laughs> like that, actually. Like leave, a, leave a book and take a and book. And then you'd have, have to like, put like yeah. lead. You'd have to put lead in the place just to. Oh, so what? Well, sorry for it's so, so there'd be no so there'd be no phones could work or no phones could do anything. I hate the thought of of, of the conversations. Lost. Man, we see this man in every coffee shop and he has his I laptop. Know, out I know. I know. Why? But I, 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 to work. I switch off and read a book for about half an hour before I leave. We're not big readers, but if we were, we'd. I but, even hear but talkers, <laughs> yeah, I know. But your talkers, yes. though, you I like know. to sit and talk. Mm -hmm. I like that too because I like sometimes if if I've had enough of my phone, like I'll set it down because I'm like, oh, I've done everything on that today, and, and then, then I have to set mine down. 
and then I just want to talk to the person you know yeah and it's like just, what it's just, just old school like talk it just frustrates me these places have just become like real like rave places and they're just like I don't know I think the coffee the evening coffee things is, should, is a really good idea that's nice right for a walk coffee after lunch. I know I know you're not but mm. you could it's just a more place to go that is a tea. bar cup that, of tea yeah. that, maybe that hot chocolate or something yeah, yeah that isn't like a there's a lot of bar culture like yes. if, if there's nothing else to do going for a pint seems to be the only option I, but I know boys that, I know people that wouldn't go for a, a coffee because you're not going for a pint you know oh, uh, you go for a pint yeah you go for a coffee nah, mm. nah. do you know do you know what I mean? There's still people out there. That you, honestly, you see whenever... Uh, well, you, I think you text me then, Alex. Text me then, text Alex back. <laughs> but <laughs> what are you having to drink tonight? And I was like, I'll have a pint of Guinness, absolutely. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be the best Guinness in the town. And mm-hmm. it was delicious. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Cut Be- that for an ad. <laughs> <laughs> best poured of Guinness. <laughs> I poured it. But like, it's not often I would go for a pint. Yeah. No, yeah. very rarely. Yeah. Very, very rarely. Would you love going for a wee coffee? I love a wee coffee. But I'd be mm-hmm. the same. But yeah, well, I'm opening a, I'm opening a coffee shop anyway, guys. Um, <laughs> Surprise! Be books. Yeah. Is it that new one I seen there? Tarbucks or what was it? <laughs> Starbucks. It's open, Starbucks. isn't it? Starbucks. Yes, it is is it, it open? busy? Is there anyone in it? I've Absolutely. not been be in it. Oh, there'll be kids in it. But then I think it's really awkward because you need to pay for a car park to get into it. Yes. Yeah. Plug that. You know, so I think that's awkward. Yeah, free like you'd parking. Have to, you'd have to pay for parking. Well, we protest outside Starbucks. We won't be the first. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll happily, I will happily protest outside Starbucks. No more, what is it? No more Starbucks up, up with roundabout. I'll be very disappointed if that does really well. <laughs> I think it, I think it'll be popular. Yeah, I'm, I'm it will be. Lad. It'll kill probably Costa. I know. Well, I'm going to say this. since I learned how to make coffee, Costa. I shouldn't be talking. Costa is a global company. Who cares? So you have to you have to weigh the grammage of the coffee, right? Uh huh. And then you have to extract the certain amount of water through it, so, so it's all weighed and yeah. measured and timed. Whereas I've watched them and they just go bang bang, and I was like, how much coffee have they just put in that? Because it's a manual grinder. I'm like they haven't a clue. Uh, you know what I mean, so I mean, it's very precise. So they don't know how much. You see the puck and everything. The puck has to be perfect so the water can like go through it nice and evenly. Is There's, that why they do the wee the wee hair yes, thing? The wee, yeah, I, love, I love watching Instagram I love videos it. of it. That's just <laughs> you get lost if anybody was watching uh, that all the time. So nice to watch. Like, just that. It has to evenly go through it because if it goes through one side, if you haven't pucked that or pressed that in perfectly, it'll all go to one side, which then it'll burn that side, which is why you get a better coffee. Whereas mm. if it's perfectly pressed. Not too tight, yeah. and it's not too coarse or whatever. It'll go through it nicely, and you get that perfect 32 grams of coffee. Mm-hmm. And especially when you're laughing. I was really boring, and I'm really sorry. No, I loved it. <laughs> coffee just, people um, love that, you know. We just come to my coffee shop. As long as you, as long as you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. We're going to boycott and start, like, shouting outside it. Fuck is all. <laughs> We're going to have mobile phones in it. We're going to have screens up everywhere. No books. No books. People will be in there reading. I'll be outside with my movie iPad. <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny video. <laughs> a hot spot, you big lad. <laughs> I'm sitting there, he's not letting me. The owner's not letting me. <laughs> Get me out of here. I've been You're in here like for three days. Barman in Belfast, you know. Barman like in Belfast. You're not allowed half pints. I have You're not allowed half pints. You're not allowed Coke. And you're not allowed uh, Fantas and stuff. Right. Uh, he wouldn't serve someone tail end of the room. tail end of lockdown uh, the owner of Biddles mm-hmm. should you ever see that Biddles bar in Belfast it's like a very very uh, narrow bar beside Victoria Square you'll see the best oh yes you yes, the back yes, of it kind of yeah. it's very very narrow so um, he got he got in shit for um, telling people don't come in and buy half pints of Guinness and don't come in and buy Cokes or soft drinks oh, this yeah. this isn't whatever I don't know um, I wouldn't he wouldn't let them you got wild shit Coke. for it like, when you pay £3.20 for a a glass of Coke. Ah, I know. Three pound twenty. Huh? Yeah, but supposedly the markup though was different. He wanted the Guinness. He, he wanted needed. He wanted the no, markup on their on the proper product. I kind of get that a wee bit, like, but mm-hmm. wee bit snarky. It made him famous. It made that bar even I, more popular. Yeah. I want to go there now and buy a Guinness. Could, you like, know, it worked obviously. Then what's that other place that was really famous in Belfast recently? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The Devonish. <laughs> the Devonish. No what happened there? Bad publicity. What happened there? I never no heard. Idea. What happened there? There's a family podcast. <laughs> hey, sorry. I'm having nothing to do with that there. But here, all I'm going to say, right, this is my opinion on it, and it's my opinion. Brilliant. <laughs> not the opinion of any of the businesses that I work I want with. KB's okay. hot tech. KB's. <laughs> okay, go KB. I, obviously, people were getting screenshotted out of the videos that yep. did go yep. up. There shouldn't have been videos up anyway, but people were getting screenshotted in it, and then people were 
putting their face up and putting their social media up beside it and being like, oh, this person was at it. Who cares what they were at? I know. Do you know what I mean? They didn't know that them boys were going to get... Well, maybe they did. And if they did, that's their own prerogative. Uh, they just yeah. put it all over social yeah. media. People were killed with anxiety. Couldn't get work. I'd say... Uh, and maybe hurt relationships and everything, you know. Do you know what I mean? Had a few pints. Boy had his dong out. <laughs> <laughs> Two more pints in this podcast to get <laughs> No, no. We're going to cut it there. No more pints. No, that's, <laughs> should cut that out. That's just my opinion. But yep. like, I think they uh, they blew it well out of proportion. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, they they. they no, it's just no, it's just no news day. There's nothing happening in Northern Ireland. Know, but there's, like, no there's no nothing need for people to attack those people and be like, "Oh, this person's a dirty old pervert." Yeah, I would love to see their search history. People, you know I mean? people love to jump on that. Like, <laughs> people love not to fair, not fair. Thank you, KB. Um, we're just moving on to <laughs> ECA. Ed- Tell us about that education. And Keith, you love starting academy. up new things. This wasn't actually one of my things, but uh, so I tell tell it. us about how you are now sort of. So Part this is where we all done our course at. Yep. Um, and I would be very friendly with Michael Lennon, Michael mm-hmm. John Lennon. His actual name is John Lennon. That's brilliant. Yeah. But he goes by Michael because people yeah. think he's taken the get, Well, would people like, be like, oh shit, I'm uh, going to meet John Lennon. Here's John again. <laughs> um, couldn't sell nothing because he thought it was fun, man. But um, I tried for a long time to franchise this, but he was like, look, it's too close to Belfast and all this. And I was like, right. But I really, really wanted it. took a year. It was a long time. Long time. That's and true. it was... I think two days after Christmas and I just texted him I was like go on let me franchise it he's like right <laughs> go on ahead and I was like I remember running into you I was like he's we actually were, letting me do this we were in Sturt's house <laughs> we in Sturt. yeah. was the franchise anywhere else? Uh, it's in Donegal Dublin Glasgow. and Glasgow right, right. And, and he wouldn't let you do it because it's too close he too, so I, I'm right in between Donegal and Belfast mm. and I was like look we, we, I would go down we would do I'd do a mentorship with him and he was like right, write down your goals I wrote down I was like Coaching academy, and he's like, Look, it's too close to in between. And he was like, He went back around the room, he came back to me, he was like, Re coaching academy. <laughs> and he was like, I think I'm going to have to give this man a franchise. I thought he was going to make it up himself. <laughs> I'll do it himself. I've, I've only been in this game six years, six, seven years, mm-hmm. and it's one of the most cutthroat things I've ever been a part of. And it's so cutthroat in what way? You can be best friends with a, a coach. Uh, in the next town but they will cut your throat to get Why a do you think that is? Because they think there's a limited amount of people and they want to be the best or the better. A serious amount of people in but this everyone's area. very different serious different personalities is going to attract different people yeah. you yeah. know. Yeah. Exactly. If someone likes you they like you. Yeah, yeah. and if they don't well they don't. They'll For leave. every one person that likes you there's one person out there that doesn't like you yeah. and you just have to deal with that. Like, yeah. But like I've approached most of the gym owners in the town and like, I would be friendly with the majority of them, but they still have the same old school mentality where they're like, no, this is my part of the pie. I'm not sharing this. Yeah. These are my members. And I like, like I link up with a lot of gyms in Belfast and we would go do events together. But I wanted to be, I wanted to be able to put thing. an event on mm-hmm. in Macrofelt. You can and bring everyone together. We tried it before. We're going to call it, you know why Macrofelt has that motto, never felt better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, why don't we make an event of that every year? Down, a big charity event down at, um, Middlestar, no, that's not. That's oh, the Meadowbank. Meadowbank. Meadowbank, yeah. And I was like, why don't we bring everyone together? But they don't want to do it. Mm. They're very they're, secretive and closed off, you know. And then the more you watch, <laughs> that sounds so, so petty. The more you watch other gyms and they'll put up videos in their gym, we might have done it too. And there's so much bad form and technique. And then you, you try to approach them and be like, here, look, why don't you do this differently? They don't want to hear it. They're mm. like, I'm right, you're wrong. And I was like, that's not the way to do these things. It's like, you're in charge of somebody's health and well-being and like they're, they're they're giving you money to make them move better, feel better. And all you're doing is butchering these people because you mm. won't invest in your own education. They're like, they're doing a deadlift and they're like a cat. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> press-ups is one of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, if you can't teach someone press-ups, you need to come see me and we need to get yeah. on this coaching academy. <laughs> because like, it's just a basic movement if you can't coach that. Well, who's this for then? This is for anyone who... It's basically for anyone who wants to become a coach who are like you know destined and this is what they want to do they want to help people but i always say if you're going to invest in it you need to be using it it's not a hobby thing mm. like it's it's an expensive enough course but if you are going to pay that money i want to be able to put you in a position where you can go off and set up your own business like it's all part of it mm. by the end of that 16 weeks part-time you'll have your business plan in place you should have your first clients you should be ready to go um or people who are have been in the industry for you're new there, five knowledge. six ten twenty years and they want to come up and bit of a just top get fresher. Up. yeah Aye, mm-hmm. i'm all for more it current style or yeah like we're always investing in education we're always off doing courses because things change people might have a different outlook on things which just doesn't line up with yours but i'll listen to them and i'll be like right well if that's working for you why can't that work for me um 
And there's a lot of people out, and the people I have so much sympathy for is the ones who are so good at coaching, so caring, but they haven't got the business side nailed down. Mm. So they have, they're not making a living from it, and then they go back to their old job, and that's one of my biggest fears. It's like, just come see me. We'll I can sit down for a day, a week, a month, and we'll have you a fully fleshed out plan. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Does it uncover every part of the industry? From a press up to a deadlift to a back squat to how setting to up your Instagram. How to talk to people, how to ring them. How to greet them at the door. You name it, I'll have you going mm. to like a diamond. And then does it cover the marketing side of it? Absolutely. Well? And then every year, like four times a year, we'll meet up and we'll be like, right. Hash it out a bit. Yeah, yeah. like where are we ha- doing what? What have you done the last three months? Why has it worked? Why has it not worked? And like it's a room full of other coaches who have all tried it. It's none of this, oh, this is what I'm doing. This, I'm doing this myself. I'm not helping you. Aye, so everyone's expressing all their ideas mm-hmm. and, and, and you can take them. I'm going to say it, it's, it's a community. No, mm. he said. I love communities. I love <laughs> the, how they work and how people help each other. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be coaches probably listening to this and they'll be like, oh, he's spoofing. I promise you, I'm not. I, we have enough members. I'm, I'm happy where Re Academy is. It's always going to grow because it's, it's perfect my opinion and i just want other people to come in look at it and be like take what they can from it and go do their own thing mm. i have no fear of somebody opening a gym next to us no fear at all because what we're doing is so forward thinking it's so mm. personal it's so unique yeah mm-hmm. and like if the person opened up beside me i would come in and be like well what do you need to hand with any gym or any wellness facility that's open to macrofelt i'll instantly message them and be like is there anything we can do to help because mm-hmm. Why not? And why not is right. Yeah. You were mentioned there, just the, I want to go back to the ECA stuff. Who do you think is the ideal person that would sign up for something like that? Like, you maybe, I don't know if you've had any sign ups yet, but mm-hmm. from, your experience, from your experience, from your from experience being with ECA and maybe hearing the other franchises' stories, mm-hmm. if you could define the person, the personality in some way, who is that type of person that needs, or not even needs, but would be a perfect candidate for ECA for, for, for what you're doing? Well, not perfect, but um, the person that I've noticed that will do well in this industry is they're sitting right now and they're, they enjoy the gym. They go to the gym for a break and they're happy there. This is a happy place. They're in a job that they're just not passionate about. Maybe they didn't they didn't push themselves at school. Because most mm-hmm. of us, like I did, I definitely didn't. Didn't push themselves at school. They're in a job where they're working nine to five. Absolutely killed with it. Um, hate the thought of going in, but they're almost embarrassed to tell somebody that they want to change their life. They mm-hmm. want to become a personal trainer. They want to be able to inspire people. Mm-hmm. They're all, they're embarrassed by that, and they shouldn't be. I didn't tell anyone I was doing my course or my job. Like they kept asking, "What are you doing this weekend?" And I'd tell them, like, you know, I was just sitting at home, not doing anything, because uh-huh. I was like embarrassed to tell yeah. people. Like, what, do you, what do you got? Is because honestly, it's, people are afraid to tell people that they want to do better. Because they think they're going to be judged. Or try if something new when you, if you know. it doesn't work out. Yeah. That like, oh, you be. wasted your time. But one of the things that I, I, I read this somewhere, like, maybe Phil Brady said it, it was like, people never punch down, they always punch. No. Was no, it, no, it never People punch don't punch down, up, they punch up. Punch up, yeah. So if, so if you're doing better than somebody else, they'll punch up and they'll talk about you and be like, oh, he's a slap, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But anybody that's up here, they'll be like, come on, keep trying, try this. Do you know what I mean? They're always supportive of it. Mm-hmm. But like, there's so many people out there that, do you want to make the change, but they're just too caring of what other people think. And it is a scary jump, but, you know, it's definitely a worthwhile jump. But as you yeah. said about books, it's one of my favourite analogies. Everyone has a storybook. Mm-hmm. Like, you have a storybook, I have one. Um, I'm so engrossed in mine. I know mine front to back. I know every, what's on every page. You know the same about your storybook, but you don't care what's going on in my storybook. Mm-hmm. You've got your own. So, like, nobody cares what's going on in your life. It'll not make the news unless it's a slow news day. Mm-hmm. And, like... You're at the definish. People, people need, you know I mean? <laughs> and you can read that book at my coffee shop. <laughs> Come on down. But like if I if I thought too much, I used to be so caring what people think. I still yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Everybody. It's hard to switch that off. It mm-hmm. comes back. But like I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have the gym. I wouldn't have went for a coffee shop. Wouldn't have took the franchise. Wouldn't have done any of that. You wouldn't stuff. have done that video. I wouldn't have done that video. <laughs> you know I mean? But like if I think it's going to work, I'll. I'll double down on it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've discovered that lately myself with doing the freelance graphic design stuff. Yeah. It's like, 
you don't back yourself, you know. I used to be so afraid of showing my face in, in, in those videos, and now I'm like... I, I think that helps, so you're showing your face. You're the most for your brand. Like, you're, you're the perfect face for your exactly. brand. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I changed that logo to just be in my wee, my wee face. Cause and it's, it's like, I think who's going to steal that? They can't. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like nice to show your face. Yeah. You look like the monopoly. The only monopoly thing is I'm running out of things to do rather than point up. It's all... But that's your thing. There's a guy following social media, Jay Alderton, and his he starts the same video every morning he's like um, good morning ladies and gents I hope all's oh no it's bonjour ladies and gents hope all's good in the hood he says it every morning and anytime I hear that anyone else says that good. I'm like I wonder what Jay Alderton's doing today mm-hmm. uh, you know it's him very good I like so that. every time you do this <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it in a while I need to, I need to, I need to bring it back fuck it but yeah I no I, I, I get I get the whole all in thing about it because burn the ship you can always you're, you're always dipping your toes and it'll never never work uh, uh, no one's going to take you serious yeah exactly if you're only doing it part time exactly and it's okay to research it you might wait a couple of years but you know then if you keep thinking about it and it's really occurring coming up and like what would I like to do then there's you gotta there's no such thing as being 100% ready you just gotta go and jump and do that's it that's so true as well there's the amount of the amount of videos that I say people have on their phones or on mm-hmm. their computers that they're like God, I, I, that's not quite perfect yet. I won't put it up. Or yeah, back that. through my social media. Exactly. Exactly. It could be someone's yeah. favorite Everyone thing. You know, it could be someone's I, favorite thing. You know, I, exactly. dip, I dip in and out of that the other time. And like I'd say, here, Frank, what do you think of this? He goes, fucking put that up. You know, that sort of way. Or, or I'm thinking of something. He goes, just fucking do it. And, I, I do and you'll, say, you'll say it yourself. Like a I'll year, two myself. year goes, I would have been. I would have been the complete opposite. I yeah, like, yeah. We're, especially with our old business shade off. Uh, mm. I was the complete opposite. I was like, we cannot yeah. put anything. And I was perfect. I was I'm more rough. Than, you were more. I was more rough and rising. Like, you doing, were, I was doing videos like on our video of me talking about the business and then posting it and me just fucking cursing and blinding. And fucking I was 100% <laughs> wrong. 100. No, I know you were. But, um, <laughs> but like, it's it's a learning thing. Like, I, and, and I'm doing it now. There's, yeah. there's stuff I'm doing. I'm doing my own wee bits and pieces of like art commissions and. Ah, we, that one different we, beautiful and productions it, and stuff yeah, it's beautiful I tell everybody but um, beautiful I, I get like I get th- I think about it sometimes I go fuck I don't know what is that going to do and stuff and then and then I put up a post or I say something to Fergal or say something to Clena and they're like just fucking do it yeah. you know but if you're happy that's okay that doesn't matter that's about it. anybody else that's yeah. it and, and I ran a business with Fergal for eight years it's a very successful business like, and we enjoyed it and I still get doubts sometimes I shouldn't like but mm-hmm. everybody's human and that happens. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't think anything happens. You know, you, you do these things and you learn your lessons from them. Nothing to regret. You yeah. did them for a reason. You love them at the time and things work out or they don't and you just take from it and you move on to the next thing. The well, biggest lessons That's you ever learn would yeah. be things that you mess up like. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And makes it. you stronger and more resilient. And everything, Failure's so. fantastic. I've, was Not that, at you, the time. <laughs> you need to, <laughs> you need to, what is that? You need to get I've it. never experienced the it. Love, the, lo- <laughs> the love of failure, the love of a failure. That's it. Ah, you have, Keith. Come on. <laughs> you made wee mistakes along the way and you learned from them and you got bigger mm-hmm. and stronger. You the wrong tape in the extra vision box. Bigger and stronger. <laughs> you did. You know it or something. <laughs> no, fantastic. Thank you very much for coming, guys. I loved it. I really did. I was so nervous. Was so that nervous. so bad? I was so scared. I was like, oh. Uh, this is when he's done 20 episodes. Come on. I know that's why. That's, that's why I thing. thought it was strange. Oh, bigger podcast. What's happening? Aye. Uh, is it coming? It is coming. Yeah, back. round two is coming soon. Is it coming soon? Mm-hmm. Any plans? Can you just tell us? Or? I think we're going to get an exclusive here. We're going to try to get the upstairs in the coach, man. <laughs> 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 Not a fucker. You don't dare talk to Jude the way I do. I heard there's Jude. a new bookshop open out of one way. Oh, the new, the new, <laughs> coffee, new coffee shop will make with it. No, are you, are you bringing it back for a bit, a limited time, or what are you thinking? I think we, uh, before we. That was another one of brain ideas. It's like, oh my gosh, we're going to have a podcast. I came home like, we're going to podcast. Is that after you came from Mars? Yes. It was the same night, I think. And then um, I was like, I really him. enjoyed that. And then our problem was, we were just rushing every week to get like um, people to come on. Yeah. I think yeah. beforehand, I would like to pre yeah pre plan guests and mm-hmm. stuff. We had some amazing guests on. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Yeah. We had twenty three episodes. Was it twenty three? Did you check 23, out today? Twenty three. Twenty three. You just made it up as uh, 2023, 23 episodes. Yeah. I remember reading that. Mm-hmm. That was just probably coincidence. That ended on the twenty third. Nah, we really <laughs> planned it like that. <laughs> yeah. But it was plan. it was, and then we tried to do a couple. In the same evening, you know, so we write less again, right. you know, as we go back double to recording the one night having the same interest. Tough. So we had a only a limited period to get out, so we oh, had to do it all. On, you know, jump boxes. Yeah, and yeah. then your ass was sore, your back was like, sore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've been sitting here ten minutes. I'm so Whereas comfy. I guess it's so comfy, like mm-hmm. a yeah. and this like a drink and everything, tier. you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, so best. we need to get juice for our guests. This is more relaxed. I think at the start, ours was so we were so tense. Well, that's what I said to you the other day. I was like, I want to make it more like per- like we just sat there, like we didn't move or like we had held. You were nearly scared to move. 
kiss you know yeah. and move my hand here you know and the mic was winning and yes, you couldn't hear me yes. I was like maybe you can get not that I want to get up and walk about but like if I wanted to demonstrate something or whatever you know yeah. I wanted to be able to stand up if you cross your legs and hit record I didn't want to uncross them yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a wee bit about comfort as well like maybe the wee there's, there's, lapel mics might be the job for you uh, uh, gonna there's people there's people actually said they, the, the background here they love just how love it Shitty it is, but not <laughs> shitty. Not not you shitty. Your first flags. <laughs> Sorry, not <laughs> shitty. Kind of like old and it's lovely. like you know, in terms of it's eclectic. It's thing. like Father Teddy. It's very much Father Teddy. It's so Teddy. Father Teddy. Yes. Father Love Teddy. it. Someone said it's our Jack to walk in. I've been watching that candle. And I didn't realize it was a real candle. That whole thing. <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, yeah, you're not allowed to fire there. Sadly. A real fire oh, would have been there. You're not allowed to real fire there. Yeah, mm. the fire downstairs is lovely. Actually, man, you just came in and it was really cozy. Mm, so they cool. do. They have a massive open fire That's down there, and it's so nice. It, nearly every day they're open. They have a lovely big open fire. This is a lovely setup. You're yeah, a, it's, it's doing so well. It's brilliant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your apartment was. Your apartment. Sound was wise, I don't know what it looked like. Sorry. <laughs> do you know the sound bad? Yes. Well, it's, until Jude came along. Until yeah. Uh, we struggled because the room's so big here mm. and we struggled. We're actually I still haven't got it sorted, but we need to put curtains up. So we're gonna get hooks. Up here, yes, yeah. and then we're going to hang curtains. You know, like the big red velvet curtains, like Joe Rogan has, yeah, something like that. So probably not the exact same, but that'll help the sound maybe yeah, again. Yeah, definitely. And then put Just like the cushions up on the on the windows, mm, yeah. and that'll help it again. But these these mics will be fine. Yeah, when we mics. were doing our last two episodes, I was like, no, we're going into the new site. Mm -hmm. We so hadn't even the walls painted. So yeah, there's and not an echo. The, the guy who who videos ours, Darn, he was like, "You're going to kill me here," and he was the whole time he was like, "I'm going to speak up and." A nightmare. I struggle. Mm, there's nothing yeah, for it to bounce up. But no, it's we're excited for ep or season two. Season two. We'll get have to get you on after you do your first high rocks. Get back on it. Oh, yes, yeah, down by their high rocks experience. Have we mentioned the high rocks? <laughs> yeah. High rocks. Every last Saturday. Is that not Saturday. No. Thirtieth <laughs> season. Thirtieth. I'm gonna try and make it. I'm gonna try and make it. It starts at like five a.m. Like you've no excuses. Five a.m. You're doing it. So What's no, sort of so serial killer gets up at five a.m. Off in ten minutes, like, like four people part. go every ten minutes. So you oh, are you just doing that at five a.m. the thirtieth though? Yeah, I start the first four, four people go out the door. That it's time. popular. So yeah, we have to. We well, started earlier. We so started at quarter to five, and we didn't get away till, till half twelve. It was right. Over. Whoa! Mm -hmm. You imagine we my maybe job was to send my job was to send people off every ten minutes, and I was stressing. My job was like make sure. So I had been as organized as I was. There's different weight categories, and you know if you're male, female, or mixed or whatever. So I ordered like bands, you know, that you get in, like a club. Yeah, so yeah. Everyone had yeah. different colors, so I knew if they came in to do their weights, like this is the weight they're doing, or like yes. the weight corresponded to the color, you know, and run like a mad woman to do this, and then if you needed to go to the toilet, well, there was tough you had to hold it in because you only had like two minutes between like everyone going, so you had no time to. Go no to the thing. toilet. Don't I can't know. believe you are doing this for free. That's what? <laughs> no, well, they said it was free. It's no. for free. All oh, right, I'll do it. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> you two can do it for free, but nobody else. Here, you just can't hijack our podcast. <laughs> we'll hijack your event. All right. <laughs> Fergal's brains here. Oh Good dear. Man. Oh dear. <laughs> Jude, jump in there. No. <laughs> Jude, cut that out. Cut that out. No, look. Thank you very much no, for coming, guys. guys. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we actually have a few surprises this year that we we want to actually chat about. So um, we're actually hosting um, this is an exclusive an event later in the year, and it's like Master Chef. Oh! So um, we're we're reaching out to the community of Mid Ulster for contestants, <laughs> and we're going to film a uh, over a couple of weeks, and we're doing a, a contest. That's so cool. And it's going to be filmed at a local school's home economics department. Have you just sourced it all? Sorry. I like love this idea. So yeah. Keith, you know me now. Come on. Uh, we haven't come up with a name yet. We haven't got a name just yet. Fergus oh, I gonna, love it. Fergus got the brand and open to everybody. And Hold we're, on. We're going so to, a school has listened to this podcast and be like, I these. No, 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 no. <laughs> I've approached the school. I've sorted this. <laughs> Surprisingly, we've got the They have people. not listened to this podcast yet, have they? I was no, there. they have. They have. He was there. I was there. We were, in a, we were in a meeting the other day. <laughs> we, were in meeting, oh, oh, we were in a meeting the other day and I goes, just so you know, this is an adult yeah. Show, you know, and they're having a good time. Didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I didn't did. I? Oh, that's so, so exciting look, for you. So cool. Look, it's happening. We're getting Joe O'Kane involved. We're maybe getting another couple of chefs involved. And it's going to be real people. It's going to be filmed just like MasterChef, very similar mm -hmm. um, in our own way. And um, so cool. potentially going to be charity involved. We want to get businesses involved. 
Um, and uh, we're going to release it online um, for the whole community to see and watch and that's enjoy. So, so cool. Real people doing something like that. Well, if I can help. Well. Wait, no, no. That guy would food poison you if I... Like, <laughs> you don't want to be a contestant, though. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you would not want me to be a contestant. Also, also buy the coffee. I hate cooking. <laughs> Coffee I'll bring an air fryer. You can just fire it off. That'd be Even that's a push. Like, I'd starve quicker. Like, keeps the chef in our house. <laughs> no problem. But that, look, that's exclusive. We've been working on oh, that I for love a it. wee well, while. Congratulations. It's that's going to be so very, exciting. very cool. It's going to be good fun. A uh, bit of fun, bit of crack. Uh, but anyway, thank you to our 2,000 monthly, 2,000 plus monthly listeners now and watchers. Thank you for giving us your attention every week. We really do appreciate it. Um, but really know you're only here for the class guests and their stories, Aww. which is very, very true. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you to Alex and Keith for visiting us thank today. You guys. Would thank you just like you to promote anything while you're here? You know, what's what's the classes? When Which do they business? start? <laughs> Which business? So the first the first part time intake for ECA is the twenty seventh of August. I know it's mm-hmm. that a lifetime away, but if you enrol the sooner you enrol, the sooner we can get you on to you know the prospectus and get you ready to go. Um there's no better time. Gym too. And you can come learn from us already. Mm-hmm. Yep. Pop it's over, we'll put your links okay. out and we'll we'll throw right. it. Throw out loads of social media clips. It's also uh, for the gym. What were you <laughs> You can all take a 30-day trial at the gym. Yes, I know. Or if you plan on having a baby anytime soon, just keep me in mind for whenever you have it. <laughs> Fantastic. Fergal, you anything to promote? Yeah, if anyone needs any logos or... He done Sammy's logo and it's awesome. Uh, he d- you do Thanks. some sick stuff like the last few ones you've been doing. That mountain, or the, like, mountain climb, rock climb one was very, very good. So oh, cool. I, I, love how world. Sh- I love how he shows how he makes it and why you've made yeah, it. Yeah, I love yeah, watching yeah. those videos. I think you went down and, and seen it Thank and you were like, yeah, that's Thank so you. cool. They, uh, they uh, started you're selling so, the t-shirts and all. You're so creative. Like, that's I, cool. Like, I thought that was cool. And I went down and got the t-shirts and hoodies and... They're really great quality. You know, you're sometimes you worry. I'm sure these are what jeans are wearing are great mm. quality, but like sometimes it, people will get stuff yes. for their business and they won't really make them. But they beautiful old t-shirts. Mm. Are you getting us jumpers? I will. Yeah, I will get you jumpers. Fucking get me. <laughs> Brand I messaged like. him earlier. I messaged him earlier. Here, are you getting a Boulder, Boulder World jumper? I only got a t-shirt. He, he wrote back to me. The thirty quid lad. I go <laughs> lethal. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> We brand everything. All the money brand you make in, this in the logo, you're well, going to spend on merchandise. We'll wear them. We'll wear them. We'll wear them on the podcast. And he's like, I don't, I don't care. Um, for yeah. me, I have the the um, the, the Irish folk art. Um, and uh, I'll put my picture. I'll, I'll, it's it's, it's stunning, been like, it's yeah, been sold. It's been sold in Anne Karen at the moment. Soon to be online. Um, we're actually, I'm actually putting up um, around some Irish pubs as well. Irish pubs are going to start um, putting them up. That's cool. And displaying so them for me, and uh, they're going to start selling them. In a sense, they're going to be they're going to get a wee kickback off any sale. And I'm looking for more Irish communities. And uh, there's places, there's a few places in Belfast and Northern Ireland. And I'm going to host uh, more events where I'm going to discuss the history of all the pieces. So interesting. Um, the different Irish Irishness to it all. Um, bit of music. Um, I'll you know discuss the history, discuss the pieces, how they were made. I work with an artist online who who uh, brings all my thoughts and creative things to you know to, to fruition and yeah it's an exciting wee project that i'm still to push on as you guys were saying it needs to be pushed on uh, but you started that's the main thing i started i've been doing it, doing it for a few years now and I'm, I'm nearly there do you know the actual only issue i have at the moment is fulfillment they sold they pretty much sold out oh. but if, and now the frames i can't get a, i can't get a hold of the frames yeah, again the, co- the company is like not making them oh, anymore yes and you want it to be good quality i want them to be per- i want mm-hmm. them to be you know right uh, and and uh, they're they're say there's seven in the collection people want the frame and they, and they want to buy the next one yeah, to look no. the same and look I the agree. same and look the same. Yeah. So I, I've had to like rethink it all and, and I'm chatting to a new framer, chatting to new things. I'm actually thinking of putting up a big one there for oh, one of the podcast. Yeah, should, yeah. I'm going to put a yeah. massive A2 version of maybe B's wing and the one I, one that you've got as well. I'm going to put that up there and it's going to just float in the background um, for some of the podcasts. And yeah. even John, I've seen the one that they drew like of Cleo and, and oh, yes, Brito yes, and yes. all. It's beautiful. We do, I, I, do, I do commissions course. as well. Yeah. So I'm, I've actually got commission um, now for um, Anne Karen itself. They have a historical story of the immigrants going over the immigrant Karen and I'm going to research that. Um, there's a song. There's a local historian coming to talk to me and I'm going to visualise that, make it into a brief and an artist is going to create a historical snapshot of that 
historical moment, I suppose, in, in, in the history, and then we're, we're going to sell it in the shop. I'd like to learn Lovely. about that. that sounds really it's going to be good fun. Yeah. It's going to be good fun. It's anyway. Interesting hobbies. Good fun. <laughs> good fun. Love a bit of history. But uh, yeah, thank you very much thank you. for coming, guys. Thank you guys. so much. Really, yes. really appreciate it. Jude, did you have a good time? All good. Fern, thank good you, time? Great time. Keith, good time? Best time. Alex, good time? Loved it. Will we cue the boron? Cue the boron. Cue the boron. Cue the boron. <laughs> <laughs>